Hello there, Ringwood. My name is Jacob Robert Brake, and today I'm going to be conducting uh, some interviews beginning with uh, this guy here. So, uh, for legal reasons, could you state your name? Uh, Nicholas Vigliante. Okay, good, good. Uh, these, these are just some warm up questions, you know, these kind of questions. So, who is your favorite filmmaker in Ringwood? What's your dad's name? Okay, uh -huh. next question. Okay. So, if you were to describe Ringwood in one word, what would it be? Natural. Yeah, I did that wrong. Okay. Now, what metaphor, simile, allegory, etc., would you use to describe Ringwood? Ringwood is like a seashell. When the snail finds the seashell, it's like any normal seashell. But like, when it finds it, it's a special home. Okay. Yeah. Surprisingly good. Okay. Yeah. So now, now we'll get into some more baseline questions. Feel free to have a drink, you know, if you want. Uh, Cheers. Cheers. So you, you know, you, you see, you seem like a guy who's eaten once in his life, you know, to survive. I've eaten a couple times, definitely. Yeah, good. So. In, in Ringwood or the local area, what would you say is your favorite restaurant? And give a bit of background. Uh, that's kind of hard to say, because I'm like a fat bastard and I like eating everywhere. Mm -hmm. Like, if I were like to say where I would eat, like all the time, like where I would want to eat all the time, it'd be like Spring Restaurant in Ringwood. Mm -hmm. It's a local Chinese place. I love Chinese food. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. No, it's a Shirley Temple. Good. Sure. Shirley Temples are ginger ale for spring. Shut up, guest. You're not in the interview yet. Interview number two is going to be very violent. Okay. So, moving on. These, these are just some questions uh, that you may or may not know. So, do you know the name of the mayor of Richmond? No. Okay. Neil do I. I looked it up like a week ago. Forgot it. I looked it up a while ago, and it's, it says it's from 2019. It hasn't been updated yeah. in like three years. About Could be the same person. We wouldn't know. Could be Phil Murphy. He could be doing both. We don't know. No, no. Really, you, you can never know in this line of work. It could literally be you, Jacob Briggs. It could Sean be me. Sean Noonan. Sean Noonan. I thought it was Linda something. No, it was anyway, one. so we're going we're gonna to ask some. You, you seem like a guy who look at a map. You, you look at maps before, right? Yeah, I you looked see, at a couple maps, a couple... You seem you know. like a guy who would know different land masses, right? I definitely know masses. So, this is a good question. So, what would you say has a greater land mass? Ringwood or the whole island of Bermuda? I would say Ringwood, because uh, I think you told me this fact a while ago. And I just, like, remember it. You were one of the people I tested these interview questions. So that yeah. does make sense you'd remember it. You didn't remember who the mayor of Ringwood was, but I mean... Mm -hmm. it, one, one out of two is 50%. That's passing in some countries. Yeah. Like North Korea. Sean Newman's coming. No, he's not. He's not real. Hmm. <laughs> so. You're trying getting to burrow home now that you just... Oh my god, Sean just, Newman. Welcome to the interview. It's Newman. Not, it's, it's not Newman. It's Newman. He's not there. So, moving on. Do you even technically live in North Korea? Yeah. I live in North Korea. Like, hell. You know what? That's that's better than most who I'm gonna interview. Probably. Probably. <laughs> Jinx, owe me a soda. Dumbass. Okay. So we got some more baseline questions. So, what is your street address, social security number, and bank details? I live on uh, 93 Mohawk Trail. My bank details are.
there's a lot of like natural sceneries and like a lot of like animal places you can like visit like a, a dog place and, like for like dogs and, like sanctuary how to call it Jake hasn't left his ass today when he took a shit. Okay, that's not true. I can hear Oh, so you him. can hear him. Okay. Yeah, I was choosing to ignore him because it was funny. Yeah. Okay, so moving on. Um, out of all the pizza places, out of, uh, out of these pizza places, Ringwood, Skyline, Luigi's Pizza, Pizza One, Geppetto's, favorite and fun. I think Luigi's because they actually make good pizza. Thank God you know you have the right answer. Oh yeah. But I'm gonna, get a I'm gonna get a Geppetto. But scenario. like the the closest place near me is Skyline, so I ordered there the most. Yeah. Dude, you do understand that yeah. once you release this, you cannot go back to any of the places you bashed this entire video. I want you to know the first time I walked in the Pizza One was to record a shot outside there, and I haven't stepped foot in Geppetto since it was a B. But all the pizzas, I mean, but all the places are doing the best, you know? I mean, yeah. I can't, I can't batter in a business. I've never run a business that was legal. They're so. all successful like, five restaurants in the same area. Yeah, that, it's very surprising. It's, it seems, it's like you might think, oh, we're going to run out of people. But, I mean, this is New Jersey, you know, the Sopranos were recorded here, so it makes sense. Mamma mia. Mm -hmm. I can say that, by the way, I'm Italian. I'm also Italian. I'm also no, Italian. I can make any jokes about being white because I am white, such as white people have done bad stuff in the past. What? I mean, oh no, thumbs down. Thumbs down for white people. Can we get a thumbs down for white people? Ah! Raise your hands if you're against white power. So off camera, uh, guess number two has just done something that will get him canceled on Twitter. I raised Plus my continue. right hand. Oh, oh, the hating choice is what really is going to get you. Nuremberg Trials accidentally raises the wrong hand. Oh wait, no, he's innocent. Okay, moving on. If <coughs> 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 that was a real cough. <laughs> if you could commit any felony, which one would it be and why? Uh, no comment. Because I made, maybe, done it. But, like any, any legal, if you could, if you could do it without <coughs> any consequences, which one would you do? Tax evasion. Mm. Let's say without consequences. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I read this in real. They were mentioned in, in the animated Batman show. Do you have a good lawyer? I know a really good lawyer. It's a lawyer. It's kind of like an accountant, but like a law. I guess I read. Saul Goodman, do you know you have rights? Because you don't. Who's the second guy you're interviewing? He's very loud. He's he very is. Loud. He should shut his damn mouth. Yeah. But you know, I, he, he is feeding my cat for eight days, so I do have to let him breathe for a week or two. I'm so, no, moving on, moving on. If you had to pick a number, one through ten, which number would it be? Seven. Okay. Favorite road? The loop. Least favorite road? Skyline Drive. Best Lee. Kriskin. Best Capital City. Try me. I mean, yeah, no, that's fair. That's it. I, I mean, I got Kriskin. You know, I can always say that. Fair. Fair. You do any respect. Hmm. So, yeah, we we'll move on to more goofy questions. So, just, you know, feel free to let loose a bit. If you could, if you could call in a tactical Boeing B uh, B fifty two Shredder fourth airstrike on any sovereign nation, why would it be normal? I don't like the way they look at me. That is fair. They do look weird. They give me a weird look every time I look at them. It's like going into a white castle, but except if all the people there were white. They're like, Mamma Mia, I'm from Norway. You know? Like, that is true. They give me, a, they give me a weird accent. They give me a weird look. I got bombed. Did you, did you, did you know that Norway is? Very mountainous. They're just there, and they're being like, "Oh, look at us! We have 
healthcare. And it's like, if I'm ever the president of the United States, I love you, Norway. This isn't gonna be a ruining our diplomatic relationship. If I'm ever the president of Canada, Norway, I hate you. No, he hates him. I love you, Norway. Don't no, worry. No, you're, you're America. America can say they love Norway. Canada can say they hate Norway. Sure. It's okay. He's we from, have good healthcare, so they can't talk back. He lives near York. He lives near New York, so he's close to Canadian. I've been to Canada once when it was passing over the new year, which means a bit of myself is in Canada right now. That's how yeah. it works. Okay, so, uh, second to last question. Ringwood Ave or Skyline Drive? Uh, Ringwood Ave. Mm. Okay, and best religion. Oh my god, it would appear we're out of time! Oh no, you can't answer that question about what the best religion is! Didn't we already do this bit? When? I don't remember. It doesn't matter! Ooh, okay, thank you for coming! Judaism. Okay, you, I mean... <laughs> Hello, Ringwood. Uh, today I'm going to be interviewing uh, a goon. Again. Hello, Drake. That's, uh, That's Ringwood. Not that goon, that was the first one. You're the second one. So, uh, what is your name? Maximilian Vincent. Okay. So you do some, you know, some boring questions. So, who is your favorite filmmaker in Ringwood? J.P. Morgan. Okay, next question. I don't even think he's a fucking filmmaker. I don't think he's a fucking store. Yeah. <laughs> also a businessman, but I guess I, I, it is a store. Okay, next question. If you had to describe Ringwood in one word, what would it be? Give an answer. Seductive. Okay, you can give another answer. <laughs> uh, residential. Yeah, Next, what metaphor, simile, allegory, etc., would you use to describe Ringwood? It's a good one. Legitimately drawing a blank. I'm not playing this out. I need to think. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is why you study when you sit and give an interview. Like uh, excuse me. Know. Excuse me. Good. Sorry, sorry, if you're talking, you can't be thinking. Mine was good. Come on. Be like me. Just copy off me. Let me know what you have. Fucker. I hate you. I'm leaving. Let me know what you have that while, while you do that. I'm at DC Audience how to make sure we tell me. So, first thing you can do, get yourself a nice glass, put yourself any type of sparkling beverage. Personally, I prefer uh, getting like a, a cherry or a sweet kind of red soda, and then you can get yourself some raspberry grenadine. Normally I know it, it's strawberry, but raspberry is a bit sweeter. Alright, I got a metaphor. Are you serious again? <laughs> Ringwood. It's like carrot cake. I fucking despise carrot. Anything. You dick. That comes at the climax of the film, but yeah, no, okay. Good ending, good, whatever. And she's pulled that in, that's gonna be sure trouble. So, mm. that's vodka. We're gonna, that's we're gonna, water, that's vodka. That's we're gonna move on, we're gonna move on, we're gonna move on to some, you know, some more laid back questions. So, do you know the name of the mayor of Renwood? Sean Newman. Well, that's weird that you know that offhand, like you looked it up in the previous. No, no, I was just curious. I wanted to know who our legislature within our town was, so I know who's I'm the decision I'm pretty sure it's a, it's a woman called Linda something. Google says Sean. Google. Google could be sexist. You don't know. Maybe you're sexist. How do you know Sean's not on Because you said it was a D multiple times. Maybe I'm being sexist. Maybe I'm misgendering. I fucking hate this guy. <laughs> okay, moving on. This guy abuses his how many? How many people would you say live in Ringwood? So like, around 13,000? 13, 13,000 people? Surprisingly close. Uh, about about 12,648. No? Yeah. See, at least I wasn't doing that during his interview. 
This is why I plan to do these things solo. Then why'd you ask me to bring him? I don't want to try him. Fucker, I wasted gas on that piece of shit. It's called saving investment. Anyways, moving on. He saves investments by not paying for actors' rights. And Which has a greater landmass? Ringwood or the whole island of Bermuda? Well, Bermuda's an island, so I don't know how that can be smaller than Ringwood. It's Ringwood. Yeah. I was sitting right there. He was also one of the people I tested these questions on. Damn it. Okay, moving on. Do you even technically live in Ringwood? Yes. Is that right? Yeah, I live in Ringwood. Yeah. Is there a problem? No, I, I just honestly don't know the boundaries. Well. It's Stone Town. Westbrook Road goes all the way to West Milford. That's not Ringwood. Well, thank you for the, you know, th well, thank you for the answer. You know, I'm, I'm really glad you're willing to give up these answers so freely, and I hope that continues. What is your street address? 52, Custer Drive. Social security number. See, I would really love to give my actual social security number just to give it, and you have to wait, think, wait a minute, is it your social security number or is it not? And bank details. You don't want my bank details. I can't even access my bank details because- Censor. I'm not joking, they won't let me withdraw my own money because I'm on a fucking custodial account. We love all banks here at the Fuck you, Censor. Association. Uh, the people we bring on don't stand by our beliefs. They'll sponsor me or I will slander the shit out of you. You gotta cut this, right? No, so but I will censor it because that is right? easier. You think we go through that with tech people? Yeah, I think you will. This is sponsored by Reach Show. You know, I am, you know, taking care of your cat. Fine, I'll censor, I'll censor when you say the bad words. No, censor the part where I start bashing. Censor! No, no, I'll, I'll, I'll just have you, I'll, I'll censor the words that make you sound like you're saying nice stuff about them. Are you on your goddamn phone during this very Look at that interview? Colombian burger. Oh, my cousin's okay. in Colombia right now. Okay. He got a Colombian burger. Like the cocaine? Okay, moving on. That's just racist. He's racist towards Colombians. No. He thinks all of Colombians deserve to get deported. <laughs> I know. I, I generally do not know what to watch. You're, you're questioning or his applause. <laughs> okay. Now, okay, let's get a little bit more serious. So, can, can you talk talk about talk about anything regarding Ringwood? Just talk talk about something very personal to you. Oh, you know, I love Ringwood, and you, the reason why I love it, I just love how empty it is and how it takes you 15 minutes just to get anywhere. It takes you 15 minutes to get to the bank, to the post office, to school, to the grocery store, and hell, that's all there is. Other than five fucking pizza places and like three restaurants, you know, what more could you want from Ringwood? You know, we don't need other forms of entertainment. We got a few playgrounds, but you know what? Who needs it? We got hiking trails because you know, everybody's fat and not a fat fuck like me. I completely agree with your message. <laughs> okay. This is gonna end out. This is gonna turn out like a days between two ferns, and like. Well, don't don't worry. I'm not gonna ask you to strip whatever the hell they asked him to do. <laughs> Pulling a real AJ move there. No, if I was gonna pull a real AJ move, I would have just seduced you. Just straight up. Would would constantly tell me that you're gonna pick me up, even though I'm like, AJ, please do not, please do not pick me up. And he's like, I'm gonna pick you up, and then he never did it. But still, I think he meant in a sexual way. No, he meant physically. Actually, like to pick you. I I would have gym class with him. He would pick you up like a hooker. He picked. He picked. He picked he up. He picked up, up. He picked up Josh and Matt, and I I was spared. But moving on. So, out of all the pizza places. Ringwood Skyline, Luigi's, Pizza One, Luigi's. and Geppetto's. Luigi's. Why do you have the right opinion? No, it's just, it's just obvious, ain't it? Like, like, you know, I respect Ringwood Pizza. I like what they do. Skyline, not, not, not a big fan. 
Pizza one, you're just stupid. I'm not gonna even acknowledge it because I would have hardcore premarital sex with the Luigi's like uh, logo. You really only need to get that on on, on photo. <laughs> it's on. The it's on video. It's on three videos, and you felt the need to get a photo of that. You got it in four K, four K, four K HD. Actually, all, <laughs> actually, those are all HD. Four K would take up too much space. Anyways, moving on. It's a special tool that helped me later. <laughs> it's blackmail. You can edit those out. You can't. Edit Speaking them. of felonies, if you could commit oh, any same. felony. No, Which one would it be? Re-ask the, re the question so I can like answer. Honestly. If you could commit any felony, which one would it be? Arson. What's up? You don't like someone? Burn their house down. You're angry with an establishment? Burn their car down. Okay, but what if you're mad at the fire department? Why? I like those guys. I know, but let's say, let's they, say they, they give, what, they what give a lot to the them? community. They give a lot to the community. I have no reason to be mad at them, and they sacrifice themselves on a daily basis. That but, is true, but they so, are they all also invincible to your favorite thing, which is that you're gonna stop your fire. Well, I mean, understandable. Like that's their job. I'm not gonna blame them for doing their job. You know, it, it, it's like um, it's like getting mad at the postman for for uh, giving you um, giving you your bills. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not his fault you have to pay the bill, so why should you be mad at the postman? Okay, but what if a retail worker tells you that they ran out of a certain item? I mean, that's, you know, supply and demand. You know, more people were there to buy it, so they're out. It makes sense. But what if I demand them to get the item and they don't? Well, I mean, that's really not how business and retail works. You're going to have to be patient until they can restock. Now I'm getting paid minimum wage, so I feel like I should be allowed to verbally assault them. That just seems like a thing. I see, this is why I agree with. This is why I need arson, so I can burn you down because you're a terrible person and you deserve to be burned to eternity. They do that Coachella. So okay, moving on. Next question. Favorite road. Greenwood Lake Turnpike. Least favorite road. Greenwood Ave. If you had to pick a number one through ten, which number would it be? As in whole numbers, like integers. Which just so happens to be the, the E rounded. <laughs> I took a guess on that. I didn't even fucking. <laughs> it's in the system. Moving on. Best Lake. I don't go there a lot for Erskine. Personally, I was at Lake Erie, but, you know, I guess you can... Some, well, some people like small lakes. Well, you know? you know, because Michigan is also associated with Detroit, I figure. You know, if all if Detroit exists in a, in a certain state, then the entire state is the state. I'm having a stroke. Yeah, it's very eerie. After Detroit does to your mind. No, it's, I'm it's just, a mental I'm just struggle. stupid. I, I'm just having a stroke. I need you to call an ambulance. I'm, I'm not doing okay. It all started. Back Everything in is fine. <laughs> Everything here is fine. These are my decades. Yesterday, my December 14th, 1941. Next question! The Empire of Japan has bombed and destroyed the naval base of Pearl Harbor. Best capital, best capital city. Topeka, Kansas. What is a policy bullshit is that? <laughs> Shit, one I can think of. Is that even a fucking place? It is Topeka, Kansas. That's the capital. Oh, it's fuck. I thought, I, th I thought they just had the fucking yellow brick road there. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I thought it was Oz. Okay, well, I'm glad I'm we're having fun with these questions. It's, it's very important to have fun with these questions. You know, laid back, uh, you know, get a bit laid back, so. I'm here against my will. If you could call in a tactical Boeing B-52 Stratos Force airstrike on any sovereign nation, why would it be Norway? I like the Norwegians. Why would it be Norway? It's not Norway. Go ahead, go ahead. Name a sovereign nation and be called not racist. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Name a nation. Delaware. That's not a nation. 
Oh, oh, we force oh, them to oh. secede, and then we send them ballistic missile. Do terrorism. My ladies and my fellow ladies and gentlemen. Fuck you, Delaware. You don't count as a state. You're a bullshit state. This You're the dingleberry of New Jersey. You are terrible. You have nothing for going for yourselves. You're the first state. Oh, we're the first state. Bullshit. That means nothing. These interviews nothing. do not support terrorism. On our own people. Okay. Delawareans are not real people. Except for the indigenous tribe of Delaware. I accept you guys. You guys did nothing wrong. The state of Delaware. Thank God he's supported. Go Thank God he's not racist and only a terrorist. So moving on. Ringwood Ave or Skyline Drive. Skyline Drive. It's got a nice view. Right. Yeah, but Ringwood Ave is long. Yeah, but Ringwood Ave has three fucking schools on one road. So during the school year, there's traffic with school buses, garbage trucks, and work traffic. All on one road, all at the same time. It is the most ridiculous and obscure layout for a town I have ever seen. Skyline Drive's not meant to be, you know, a main town road. It's just a main road to, you know, cross into, you know, the highway area in Oakland. Like, that's a fine, you know, if you get stuck in traffic there, you know, it's all right. Like, you know, it's a bit of a drive. It's going to take some time, but, you know, it makes sense. Ringwood Ave is just a little bullshit. There's no reason for it to be one fucking road. It's one road. I'm not even over-exaggerating it. It's one main road. All the little roads on the side connect to it. And they don't even connect to each other. There's no back roads. It's... Okay, moving on to the final question. Best religion. Oh my god, we're going out of time! Oh, thank you for coming. Buddhism. Judaism. 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 Buddhism. Go. This bit was not very well planned. Jaramush! <laughs> Jaramush! Today we have a very special interview with the one and only Jerry Seinfeld. Uh, it's an honor to have you. I, I loved your work in the B movie, and you were really good in the B movie. So, yeah, how you doing? Call my wife, tell her to call my lawyer. Ah, oh, that's a funny joke. So, let's move on. Um, so, you know your name, you know your name. Uh, so, who is your favorite filmmaker of Ring? What's a ring with? Who's Jake Brooks? Jake Hell yeah! Okay. Uh, so, what metaphor, simile, allegory, etc. would you use to describe Ringo? Dude, I don't know what a Ringo is, alright? I My car broke down on the main road over there, and you tied me up, and now I'm in your fucking basement. And not basement, exactly. Living room.
Do you know the name of the mayor of Redwood? Jesse Eisenberg. No, I don't. Look, man, I don't know it either, so. Same thing, same thing. It's good to know we have so much in common. Uh, moving on, let's see. How many people would you say live in Redwood? I don't fucking know. Two people. That clearly can't be true. I'm here, you're here, and the cameraman man. Yeah, two people. Yeah. I'm glad I'm glad you got uh, you got over calling us a cop. That's good. So moving on. Uh, what is the greater landmass? Bermuda? The whole island of Bermuda or Ringwood? Do I look like a geography expert? I mean, look, I'm just saying in the B movie, you did win an episode. And you did sue me how you wish. It means you had to know something. But yeah, I mean, you have to be pretty well versed. Have you ever thought of the fact that I might have been on drugs while making that movie? You're a comedian who's rich and famous. There's no way in the hell you could do drugs. I wish I had my chocolate lady shirt on. Moving on. Um, do you even technically live in a ring once? Social security number. What is your social security number? By chance, you know. For, real. for, 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 for logistical purposes. I, I just want to buy you some crypto. Jessica, call my lawyer. Don't call his lawyer, because that'd be rude. i really going to wake him up in the middle of. Call the FBI. I can't, sir. That wasn't his wife. That was just the cameraman being weird as shit. I'm. things outside of the B movie. Have yeah. you seen one episode of Seinfeld? Just one. I did see the special feature of the Blu-ray B, uh, Blu-ray DVD movie. The, the, the B movie Blu-ray DVD. So that that did get I get it, I get it. It's hard, it's hard, it's hard to live up to, to I was that doing acid that, so. with Matthew Broderick and we were coerced into doing this movie. Look, I get it. Did this it's hard, it's man. hard. Once you, once you reach your magnum opus, everything after it seems pretty difficult. I get that. Reese Witherspoon gave us the drugs. Makes sense. So, talk, talk anything about Ring. Just, I, I'm gonna give you some spotlight just to talk. Because we have to probably say it's very important. You have a very nice road that'll get your tires killed. That's it. Anyways. Um, out of 
have all the pizza places here in New York. Uh, Ringwood, Skyline, Luigi's, Pizza One, and Geppetto's. Which one is your favorite and why? I don't. I, I've never been here. What don't you understand? Based I've on the never names alone. To... Based on the names alone, then which one would you say? Geppetto's. Go now. Well, then we have select questions. Yeah, so the so do the police. No, they don't. This is really important. And the question they have is, are you on drugs? And if the answer is yes, you go to the fun box. And if it is no, you go free. Unless you're a murderer. Then you get put in prison. Me. So, moving on. If you could commit any felony, which one would it be? Murder. Mm, I did. I get that. You know what? Say, that's why I just did it before. You know, I'm gonna do it again. Ah! I'm probably even still holding on for that long. It's like a long time. Okay, moving on. Um, you get to pick number one through ten. Which one would you pick? One. Mm. Now, what is the loneliest number that you'll ever? You know, like... you 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 went like a Batman. <laughs> also, sorry about your, uh, sorry about the water. <laughs> I didn't mean to dribble that much. He's breaking continuity. Oh, oh get shit, back to the fucking character. This isn't Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> no, stop. Wait, I'm, gonna do, I'm gonna try to do a bit with my phone. Like, try to, like, reach out in my pocket. I'm not, I'm not editing this app. You know that, right? You better edit it out. This is going in the interview. Pretend like you're not seeing this. Pretend like you're not seeing this. I mess up the mask with the water. It's a little bit. <laughs> He's yeah. got the water drop on it. It's not ruined. It's a little damp. Give him a little kiss. There you go. At times I wish this would work. Uh, that camera's low on battery, so we should probably. Yeah, I'm trying my best here, Jake. Yeah, well that doesn't really mean shit if, you, if your best isn't good. You're ruining continuity. Good, good. Okay, back in the character? Yeah. Okay, there we go. I just had to set him straight. Okay. So, what's your favorite road? Highway to hell. The highway. Okay, what's your least favorite road? Skyline Drive. Hmm. That is strange how even though you've never been to this town, that's Because it's the road, it's the road where my car got. Fucked up. Yeah, well, maybe that's what you get from going 50 and a 40. Recording stopped over here. Okay. So, uh, who wants? So, best lake? Lake Superior. I, I feel like Lake Superior fans are just kind of narcissists. It's like, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't like narcissists, you know? They're always so full of themselves. I think they're the best, but I'm clearly better than them. Can't respect them. But you know what? I'll, I'll give you a slide. You wouldn't be. So, best capital city. What? Like, capital city. Like a city that's capital. How does this have anything to do with Greenwood? Greenwood's a place. Capital cities are also places. All the no, Benjamin Franklin came up with the plan. Oh, man. Yeah, hi. Yeah, I'm just gonna be an Uber in a few minutes. I'm probably just gonna be a lawyer. I just have no idea what a lawyer is. This guy's a Everyone always brings us up whenever I'm doing something awesome with this character. It's weird. Anyways. You're gonna need one. So, you know, this has been a pretty fun interview, pretty laid back. So let's, let's keep that move going. So, if you could call in a tactical Boeing B-52 Stratosphere airstrike on any sovereign nation, how would it be Norway?
was arrested in Norway for petty theft. Legit. Oh, oh, oh my god, people are out of time! Oh my god, thank you so much for your time! Realistically, though, that's actually how you get out of duct tape if you're in that situation. So, stay safe, kids. Also, uh, and, but also, if you're in duct tape and the other person has a gun directly towards you, that's not the smartest idea. Yeah, you no. could just get shot like this. Good. Okay. Okay. You throw the tape back at it. Hello, Ringwood. I'm Jacob Robert Briggs, and today we have a special guest here for an interview. So, what is your name? My name is Vincent. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. I just had to make sure there was the right information. So, uh, we just have some, you know, uh, warm-up questions just to make sure everything's base level. So, who is your favorite filmmaker in Ringwood? Uh, of course, Jacob Robert Briggs. More Jacob Robert Briggs. First time that answer was given. <laughs> okay, so, if you had to describe Ringwood in one word, what would it be? Ringwood is, you know, a town. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. So, what metaphor, simile, allegory, etc., would you use to describe Ringwood? I mean, Ringwood, I always imagine it as kind of being a really, like, grumpy old man who specifically goes to, like, Italian restaurants and diners, but, like, he always tips, like, the lowest possible amount, and he always has, like, a really specific, like, complaint about some minor issue. Makes sense. So, moving on. You, 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 you eat, you've eaten food before, right? Right, yeah. You seem like a guy who's, who's, who's converted food into energy. So, what is your favorite restaurant slash local food place here in Ringwood and the surrounding area? I gotta say, Lakeland School Lunch. Kind of fire. Pomptonian, they do a great job. name of the mayor of Ringwood? No. <laughs> yeah, fair. No, no one does. It's a it's a mystery. You don't know Sean T. Noonan's name? That's, I'm pretty sure that's not even the person. It's... I'm pretty sure Google lied to you. I'm gonna be honest. I thought it was Linda something, but... Like three years ago, probably. I, maybe. I don't know. Maybe we don't even have a mayor, okay? It could be like Lakeland principal situation. It's just Dude, Novak. <laughs> it's Novak, again. Moving on. Uh, how many people would you say live in Ringwood? couple thousand, I think. It's like, probably like around like 15,000 somewhere. I'm pretty sure. Pretty close, pretty close. It is about 12,648. So, pretty close. That's, that's, honestly, I'm, I'm terrible guessing population, so that's a pretty good guess. Let me also put the glasses back on, because now I'm recovering from that absolutely terrible opinion. Ugh, moving on. So, what has a greater land this? Ringwood or the entire island of Bermuda? Hmm. Probably Bermuda. You know, you'd be surprised that's actually wrong. The Ringwood is actually has a greater landmass than Bermuda. I know 
and it's mostly water in Bermuda, so that does factor into it. But Ringwood's a pretty big place, surprisingly. I mean, most of it's just made of trees and stuff because, I mean, Ringwood kind of expected, but yeah. Now, next, do you even technically live in Ringwood? I'm actually not sure. Like, Stonetown is like right next to like West Milford, and it's kind of like this weird like border yes. area. That is fair. Oh, we got Stone Town in chat? Yeah, no, you're in Stone Town. Well, yeah, yeah. Is Stone Town Ringwood? Yeah. It is. Stone Town's Ringwood. Yeah. Okay. Uh, West Milford doesn't. You know the second dam, not Monksville, but the other dam. Yeah. Go up there, that's where. Uh, oh, West that's Milford. where it starts? Oh. Yeah. Neat. So uh, now, you know, we're just having some fun, you know, some laid back, uh, some laid back questions. So let's just continue with that. So. Is that sparkling water? Oh. Zero calorie soda to make a show temple. So, but, okay. yeah, you know, so, we're having a fun time. So, what are you... making sure there wasn't, like, a skinwalker oh, like, just sitting next to me. I, I would never drink sparkling water. Because I'm a guy, I'm <laughs> a guy you can trust. It. You know, I'm a, I'm a very trustworthy guy. I would never do anything uh, that's shady or messed up. So, uh, <laughs> uh, Okay, so, moving on. What is your street address, social security number, and bank details? Why is that relevant to this interview? Well, I like to I like to know that the people I'm interviewing have you know that that they exist. You know, it's like voting. You know, it, it's except you know, I, I, actually when you when you come to me, you actually have a good option. That's shade at both political parties, so you can't get offended. So I guess you're not gonna give those. <laughs> no. Okay. Has that actually worked yet? I have given Something. my real address to him. But he knows where I live, so I got one yeah, address. You know where I live, yeah. I got one address, uh, and I got threatened by Jerry Seinfeld, so you know. Not too bad, not too bad. But moving on. Now, I want you to talk about anything regarding Ringwood or the surrounding area. I want you to really just talk about something that you're very passionate about. Something that I'm pretty passionate about is probably just the friends that I've made, like, throughout doing everything that... <laughs> Are you looking on headphones? Oh, no, I'm listening. Yeah, yeah, this guy. Okay. Yeah, all the friends I've made throughout, like, high school and just the amazing experiences I've had. I completely uh, agree. I feel like he's, he just can't hear me at all. I, I can 100% hear you. He can hear you. Yeah. Same when thing I press about this, me. however, I can barely hear anything. Now yeah. I'm just completely out of it. Make up any rumor about me. Not right now. Jake is a serial killer. I can hear that, but you're not wrong, so I'm gonna let that slide. <laughs> okay. That's very nice, very nice. It's it's good to know we have very passionate people here at Greenwood who talk about things. Um, moving on. Out of these pizza places, Ringwood, Skyline, Luigi's, Pizza One, and Geppetto's, favorite and why? Um, Luigi's is probably the best pizza place out of all of them. Uh, Geppetto's, I don't even know how they're still a business. I feel like they're a money laundering scheme. Like, who, I, I've never seen a single person walk into that store. Like, I don't know how they even stay in business. You know what? At times like this, I, 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 I really do love the town of Ringwood because all three people we've had up here have had the right opinion. God bless. <laughs> Moving on, if you could commit any felony, which one would it be? Probably murder. Mm. I respect that. You know, during the Seinfeld interview, I actually shot the camera. Twice. He somehow held on for like a solid five minutes. Is it friendly? I don't know how. I don't know how. I, he's back again. He really wants that paycheck. I'm not going to give it to him, but still. So, moving on. If you had to pick a number, one through ten, which one would it be? Uh, am I gonna say it? Yeah. Okay, Se seven. seven. Okay. But I, I'm not gonna imagine it. Like, you can have a deck of cards in my pocket. No, I just have matches and a tear stick, which I'll actually demonstrate now. So move on to the next one. So, favorite road? Um. Hmm. Skyline Lakes Drive. Uh, what's your least favorite road? Probably Ringwood Ave. It, it just kind of sucks. Ringwood Ave. 
Understandable. Understandable. Wow. Is that a bird? <laughs> you know, men, you know, uh, Mentos. Yeah. So imagine instead of Mentos, it was menthol and it was under your eye. Uh, nice. So you put the glasses on. I'm completely sane again. So moving on. Best lake. Uh, Scotland. Personally, I'm a Lake Erie, but you know, that's fair. That's now we got a real device on Best capital city. Um, you know, the capital, to end all capitals, Washington, D.C. I mean, mm -hmm. as far as a city, it sucks, but you know, it is the capital of America, so you know. Can't hear that. Good thought process. You know, my I, I, I just love this country so much that my eyes are tearing up at the thought of how great our country is and not because of chemical warfare. Uh, so, you know, we this is a nice laid back interview. So I, I, I just want to ask you a question that, you know, just, just you know, open your mind and uh, just relax. So, if you could call in a, uh, a Boeing B-52 Stratosaurus airstrike on any sovereign nation, how would it be more with? You're, you're automatically assuming I would choose Norway. Yeah. Oh, I gotta just I gotta justify this. Well, it's like asking, like if you're crossing the street, they're, why are you not going they're, they're, out of stop? Their quality of life is just too good. They're they're too happy. They're they're just they, why? I got that. Should, it should save what? some happiness for us. They're stealing all the serotonin. It's, yeah, it's messed up. I'm really put the tear in my eye without the use of menthol. So, uh, second last question. So, we would have Skyline Drive. Skyline Drive. The Skyline Drive kind of guy, like, respectable, respectable. And, uh, you know, final question, not controversial, just lay back. Best religion. Oh, wait, wait, oh my god, when people are out of time! Oh my god! Whoa, Thank you so much for your time! Sense. Oh my god. You're the first person to not try to answer that question under their breath and then very out loud. At least I said Buddhism instead of something else, so. <laughs> Judaism. What are you talking <laughs> Look at this. Look at this segment does the water. Guys, don't smoke. These are prop cigarettes instead. Incredibly dangerous. Well, if it's herbs, you just made tea. These interviews are all about one thing and one thing only. Do you want me to anti drugs? Hello Ringwood, my name is Jacob Robert Briggs and today I'm gonna to be interviewing somebody, because that's what I do. So, what is your name? My name is AG Cuffed. Mm -hmm. So So we we're just having some baseline questions, you know, just to, it's like a lie detector test. Sure. Just so you know, okay. Who is your favorite filmmaker in Ringwood? You know, I I really only know no one filmmaker in Ringwood, and that would be yourself. And that's how we mock it. Okay. So I'm on top of the world, so let's begin. <laughs> If you had to describe Ringwood in one word, what would it be? I would have to say, cursed. Every experience I have in this town is slightly askew. Everything is cursed about it. Based. So, moving on. What metaphor, simile, allegory, etc. would you use to describe Ringwood? Hmm. You know, that, that's a good question. That is a good question. So. Uh, I'm talking about one at this point. There's this okay. there's this little restaurant dude, on on this little road called Ringwood Avenue. It's called Nene's Cocina. It's a, it's a beautiful Mexican restaurant, and they have this wonderful sign like right outside of the restaurant. It has nothing on it. It's just a plain sign, and that's how they advertise for their business. It's just a plain sign, nothing on it. And I think that reminds me of Ringwood. Gary Seinfeld that that was his favorite restaurant. Really? Yeah, he just said whatever Mexican restaurant was there because I did kind of kidnap him. He didn't see anything, but so he knows what's up. I was supposed to like that because it's Good man. Science. Okay, moving on. What is your favorite restaurant slash local food place here in Ringwood or the surrounding area? Favorite food place? You know, okay, I know it's a classic. Lakeside Diner. They always have everything you'd ever want. They have a nice vegan section too. Love, that's my favorite part. And, you know, I just feel like it's a little safe haven for all of the monstros monstrosity, the monstrosity. Outside the doors, it's a little safe haven. I really like that place. 
think right next to the lake. They actually on the lake side. Yeah. That's not I say I like them. It's kinda nice. And it's all water, whatever. Sure. You know what? After some <laughs> So do you know the name of the mayor of Richmond? I do know the mayor of Wanakee. Because that's that's where I live. His name is Mayor Mayor. I'm not even joking with him. I'm not even joking, look it up.
See, I've lived in Wanaku my entire life. It all started January 11th, 1966, the day fear struck this nation and this town when, it even pains me to talk about it now. Look, man. <laughs> I wasn't expecting the turn, yes. <laughs> January 11th, 1966, the aliens came as they started to come over the reservoir of Wanaki. People described it as a white light as it flashed between the colors of red and green. It hovered across the reservoir as it kind of circled over. Many police cars and people came to view the sight of this incredible, magnificent thing in the sky. Nobody knew what it was. People came from all around, children, adults alike. Everybody wanted to know. It hovered there for a couple minutes. The traffic stopped. People's radio started to scratch and turn off. Nobody knew what it was. I'm telling you, it was an alien. It was a UFO, but I'm telling you, it was something out of this world, something out of this world. It came, rotated across the reservoir, and as it started to move to different areas of town, it came over Stone Town of Ringwood. Stone Town of Ringwood, you're from Ringwood. You must know. I must tell you. Right. Yes, yeah, he knows. And then it continued down past school. It went through different towns of Wayne into Wyckoff, people spotting this strange light in the sky. The Wanaku aliens, they're still here. My next door neighbor, God bless her soul, she best today. She used to tell me, she used to own this restaurant on Meadowbrook Avenue in Wanakew. And there was a wonderful, beautiful trail across the beautiful, beautiful creek. It was gorgeous, a, a beautiful brook. And along that brook, there was a small trail that led up into this little wilderness section. And let me tell you, it was a very secluded place. She used to go, there was three rings burned into the grass every time she came, three rings, and nobody else could see these because the beautiful foliage was so distracting, nobody could see it because the aliens wanted to drink from this beautiful brook all for their own. These three rings were burned into, three rings were burned into the grass. That's my favorite part about Ringwood. Oh yeah. That was my favorite part of Ringwood. Nice. Thank you. Thank you for listening. It means so much to me for you listening. Listening, yeah. Mm hmm Oh, I gotta put these back on. In the Megalovania. So, out of all the pizza places, Ringwood, Skyline, Luigi's, Pizza One, and Geppetto's, favorite and why? Well, whenever I go to order pizza, I order from Luigi's. But honestly, I have never ordered from Geppetto's. I'm just gonna say I've never, I've never done that. But something about that place just interests me. There's like this little like charm, and like I think there's like a mafia guy in there or something. Like, and that's why it's my favorite. That's why it's my favorite. I've never even eaten there. Top rank bridge is pretty. Amazing. I don't even know that it's open, bro. Like, oh my god, my mother used to say to me, my mother used to say to me, like people would order from Japan and they would throw out the pizza. It was so bad. But it's been there for so long. It's there's gotta be something else, and that interests me. That's why it's my favorite. At least two of the pizza places here in Ringwood are probably involved with the mafia. Sure. Because Pizza One was asking for inside jobs on the morning show. Are you serious? Yeah, I know, I'm serious. So we, do, we got an announcement uh, like that we had to put on thing. Like, Pizza One is looking for people to do inside jobs. And we we wanted to do a whole morning show about like the pizza mafia, but they wouldn't let us. Pizza mafia. You should have done it. Can I have a sip of that? <laughs> Bring on the next question for me. I'm I wish I had another cigarette so I could put that thought out of my head. Uh, moving on. So, if you if you could commit any felony, which one would it be and why? Hmm. Hmm. Any felony I want? Any felony. Any felony. Revenge. What time? On the aliens. They are here, and I know it. I will find them. That's the other percentage of the people living in Ringwood. I know there's 14,000. You say there's 12,000, because 2,000 of them aren't from this world. So that math brings down to about, like, like what, 5% of people? Look, I'm not too good at math. Probably. I don't know. I think it's more so. than that. There's more than that. So. You better be careful. We could be one of your family members. Any one of them. I'm that's, telling you. That's about a 13% that's about, that's a chance. There's... Seven people right here. That means eight people. So one of them is an alien. Alright, let's go with these. 
You missed. It's him. I'm telling you. Oh, you got me this time. How do you think he's oh. lived this long? It's got to be mm him. -hmm. Well, he's also very cheap. I'm Italian. That's why I live so long. <laughs> This bit is really out there focus. Okay, moving on. <laughs> it's very heavy in the coat. So, if you had to pick a number one through ten, which number would it be? One. I'm number one. Number one? Okay, <laughs> speak, speak, speaking, of, speaking of one, let's determine this. Best Lake. Best Lake? Oh, the Wadakir Reservoir. Mm. You see, the, most people I know that say one would pick Lake Superior, because they're narcissists, which is just... Mm. It's messed up. I can't believe people are acting nauseous. Like, they think they're better than everyone else, but I'm clearly better than them. You know, so. that's, uh, Lake Superior probably, you know, I feel like it, Lake Superior is probably pretty selfish. It is. It, I bet it called itself that. I bet Jeff Bezos probably was there. Yeah. He probably, like, lives, like, underneath there, some, like, water thing. He does. Mm. It's a fact. Jeff Bezos is definitely living underwater. He's a fish human, not a lizard, a fish human. It's a difference. Look it up. He's an alien! I am the living embodiment of Wanakee, New Jersey. Awesome. I am the living embodiment of Wanakee, New Jersey. I know there are aliens everywhere. Back. Moving on. So, best capital city. Oh, Bismarck, North Dakota. Why the fuck are people just naming things out in the Midwest? I I have a soft spot for North Dakota. I do. I really do. I, I was I was interviewing with someone before who won't be named called Max Fallon, and he said that his the capital was like somewhere in Kansas. And I'm just like, what type of wizard See, of these, bullshit is that? These types of states are full I of aliens. You know? I didn't even know they had pe I didn't know they had living creatures in them. That's crazy. I thought they were just there so that we could like so there wasn't a big hole in us, so they wouldn't call us the donut stage. Wyoming doesn't exist. That's true. I've never heard of them from Wyoming. So so you know. We, we, this has been a pretty, pretty fun interview, you know, pretty laid back. We're asking just, you know, pretty relaxing questions. Uh, and I, you know, I just want your opinion on this. So, if you could call in a tactical Boeing B-25 Shredder's Force airstrike on any sovereign nation, why would it be Norway? Norway? Yeah. I would never hurt Norway. That's a lot. Yep. Does it have a cigarette in it still? No, I would never put a cigarette in it. Match. Match. the difference. Sorry. Anyway, Norway. Norway is, Norway is in. Huh? Charcoal does not taste good. <laughs> Norway is an interesting country. You know, I find Norway very interesting because I, for some reason, believe that no aliens are present in Norway, so it doesn't interest me. But it does interest me because there's no aliens there, and they just have so much renewable energy. You know, I think I think the only reason I would call a strike, they use too much renewable energy. They need to, you know, put some fossil fuels into like the air. They need to like, I don't know, do some things that are like wrong. They need to like, I don't know, kill more people. It's not, boring there. It's they're not willing nice. to lose. They're not willing to lose. Would that be resources or people? I think we have to change that. I think some more aliens need to be. I agree. <laughs> they had it coming. Think about it. When has Norway ever not fought against the Nazis? That's right. They worked with them probably. No, it's okay. Illuminations explained the way that plot hole. Huh. They put they put him in ice until the sixties, just so that. You the really believe that? I believe one of the min. There has to be a one minion out there who didn't get trapped in there and I definitely agree. worked for like Mussolini and then Hitler. That's a fact. I absolutely. You have to admit, Hector is not a good character. <laughs> oh, we knew this one was coming. Not again. <laughs>
relaxing for someone like me who's seen too much. A nice non-controversial question. I like it. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, best religion. Oh, oh my God! There are people at a time. Oh my God! Thank you, thank you Atheism. so much. Atheism. Atheism. Surprisingly, not the first answer to that question. We Atheism. Got. Judaism, what's going on? It's the only answer. I'm gonna stop taking your hand. I am too. <laughs> hey! Woo! Can you expect so much gun violence? <laughs> Hello there, Ringwood. My name is Jacob Robert Briggs, and today I'm gonna be interviewing someone again because I need I need to talk to people. It's been a long time. So, uh, let's begin. So. What is your name? Gavin. Okay, nice, nice, nice. So we just, we just want some, you know, some baseline questions. It's like a lie detector test. You have to have your baseline questions so that you know uh, what so they know you're not lying. So, who's your favorite filmmaker in Ringwood? Is Max Tech the favorite filmmaker? He's a bitch who didn't say me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really know anyone from Ringwood. Okay. Any filmmakers? Oh, what? Oh, that's so weird. I'm getting a call. Oh, wait, sorry. I'm getting a call, so I'm getting a call real quick. Oh yeah, oh, it's, it's for you. Hey Gavin, uh, sorry, I'm I'm running a little bit late. Uh, you know, I I ran into a problem at the CVS getting the uh, the gummy bears for the Flintstone gummy bears. Hey, uh, anyways, uh, was I just want to let you know ahead of time, you know, just small little thing. Uh, if you see someone that looks like exactly like me, uh, pull up to your house. Don't go out there. That's uh, that's. In danger. I didn't actually. Goddamn. It's not me. That's just some guy who just impersonates me really well. I'll give him that. Uh, but yeah, so just don't get in his car. Uh, and if he, you know, starts trying to do an interview with you, whatever you do, don't film that, because then it's gonna it's gonna come out poorly. Because I have to do the interview as well. So whatever you do, just do not get into the car with that guy. Okay. Just letting you know ahead of time. Okay, have we go. I'll see you soon. Wait, Darren, I think you're getting another call. Am I getting another call? Uh, in three seconds, yeah. What do you have to say? So moving on, um <laughs> Did I just get fucking gummy bared? My lucky hat. Women fear me fishing. We're so day. lucky there's cameras. I wanna kill you. Women it's the fear worst me fall fish call I've ever received. So, moving on. If you had to describe Ringwood in one word, what would it be? It's fine. You're not wrong. It's fine. It's a place. It's definitely somewhere on a map. It is a geographic location that, if you pull up a Google Maps, maps it, it says Ringwood. Mm -hmm. It's a place. I mean, it's a... Next question. What metaphor, simile, allegory, etc., would you use to describe Ringwood? It's it's a lot like the uh, the British Empire because it's the pe people speak English there and it's white, and uh, the British Empire is like everywhere, and Ringwood is like everywhere else. 
except it has lakes. Yeah. Fair okay. game. So, I, I have a little, this is one problem with your Alec Boy. Rick Lloyd, we got, we got some food. I'm just saying. So, moving on to the next question. Excellent segue, Jake. You're a genius. Moving on. What, what's your favorite restaurant slash local food place in Ringwood in the surrounding area? Brooklyn Pizza. Mm. Not even the Ringwood. Look, man, I miss that pizza place. I was going through, like, I, I'm going to say, like, going through every, like, going to every pizza place. I miss that one. There's too How many. How the hell did you not go to Brooklyn? That's There's like too many, dude. The good place. There's, there's so many oh, goddamn so, pizza places. So you places. have time to, to ruin your taste buds at Geppetto's. But you don't have time. I didn't mean, eat there. I just went outside and thank God no one was there when I recorded it illegally. <laughs> it's not illegal technically if you're not making money off of it. So as long as someone doesn't give me a one dollar bill, I'm safe. <laughs> I'm invincible. Oh, so moving on. Do you know the name of the mayor of Ringwood? Is that like Sean something? I think Sean. It's, it is I Sean may have cheated. I that on. I don't even remember the name. I forgot the first name was Sean. You, yeah, I lost that line. I don't. I think he's a Republican, and I have no idea when he was elected. Do I, do I, I do not even remember the election. It, it, they, they, they just, they just, these random people who never even existed before. Like these, like random, like forty-year-old men, or just manifest out of thin air. And just are like, oh yeah, this is the mayor. He's been the mayor yeah, for a while. Like, guys. Oh, I just, hello, my fellow citizens. I'm here to lead a great town of Ringwood to excellence. And then as I soon as their action. their their mayoral thing expires, they literally just they just disintegrate and they, they dematerialize. Back in the comic books, to support a green initiative. God. <laughs> uh, moving on. So, how many people would you say live in Ringwood? Too many. <laughs> Hell yeah. Just leave. I just want to yeah. be on my lake, man. <laughs> what is it? It's about 12,648, which, that's a big number, okay? That's a lot of people. It's over It's over 10, so it adds an extra zero, so, uh, no, there needs to be less people. There's only five people that need to be in Ringwood. Me, myself, and I, Carl, and whoever the mayor is, because he has to... Is to maintain the area, I know I mean. If there's no mayor, the town literally is <laughs> wiped off the map. <laughs> we literally, dude, Lakeland almost had that happen to them, but luckily Mr. Novak stepped in. <laughs> Thank God. A real hero. It, it was like a stopping like a comet from hitting Earth. Mr. Moment. Novak's an American hero. He is. He, he's, a, he's a hero of all planets. Can we just have a moment of silence for, for Novak? Just Moving on, so you, you you before you before you were talking about like land, right? You 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 stepped on land before, right? Huh? <laughs> Guess I have. Yeah. So this this is just a yeah, uh, this is a question, you know. <laughs> that was a dumb way to say it. What is a greater landmass, Ringwood or the entire island of Bermuda? Bermuda. Because they have a monarch. Oh, <laughs> Wait, do they still have a monarch? They still have a monarch. They're, they're a crown colony, technically. They, but they have a parliament, I think. I don't... Surprisingly, Bermuda politics, I don't keep up on as much. <laughs> I wonder how Bermuda <laughs> politics work and their similarities to real politics. Well, okay, so one of them, one of them's on land, and the other one's on island. So that's it. One of them, one of them is land, and the other is land. I die. The spelling of island is weird. It's just island. There's no like Iceland. Because that'd be Iceland. Like, ice. Can we just talk about Iceland and Greenland for a second? Yeah, I'm down. What the hell is up with that? I. The, the Vikings. The Vikings, like, the Vikings were the Vikings biggest us. trolls of all time. Like. The greatest trolling you could possibly manage to do is like map, like like getting maps to literally just have like bits on them. Bro, like, I was, yo, 
five hundred years from now, people when they like invent maps and like cartography, they're gonna have a good chuckle from what we've done here. Remember that island we sailed to and half of us died of disease and cold, and it's like ice. Greenland. Oh, and the Whoa. island we're on now before we head back to Norway. It's pretty green, right? More than that place. Get with the right place. Iceland. My my chuckle bone has come out of my body, bro. I was I was on I was on the playground back in like third grade and I was walking over those metal bridge things and all of a sudden I look down, I see the goddamn Vikings there, because that they're that big of trolls. Uh okay, moving on. So do you technically even live in Yes. Okay, good. Within the lakes. I look man, at, at some point I, I have no idea whether I, I know like a couple people like, if they live in Ringwood or not, but everyone else, goddamn enigma. I, because I don't even know the boundaries of Ringwood. I, I have no idea the exact geographic borders of Ringwood. Look, all I know, all I know is it just kind of blurs, and then the next thing you know, wait a minute, I've been inside this other town for like three miles. Yeah, I know, I know, at the top of Skyline Drive, it switches up in Oakland, and when you get to Garden State Plaza, that's no longer Ringwood. That's, those are my boundaries. Somewhere in between Garden State Plaza and Ringwood, that's what the boundary is. We've been having like a, a nice little fun time, right? This has been a pretty laid back interview. You know what? Let's open some fortune cookies up together before we go to this next one. So. Mm. Feeling good? Feeling good today? Sure. Alright. Yeah, good. I won. So, you know, we're broken already. Is it supposed to do that? Okay. I literally haven't opened a fortune cookie in like six years. As long as there's a paper inside of it that you can I don't even eat these, do you want this? I... I go and see that, I'm gonna... I'm gonna put this here for you. Go put it down there. If you can't decide up or down, try moving from side to side. Sounds like a video game tutorial, that's not... Gavin, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not a fortune. I'm pretty sure a game developer just did not get their dream job. Uh... Fear is just excitement in need of an attitude adjustment. Dude, you know, I'm so excited I'm getting shot at. Let's go! <laughs> Holy shit, gun violence in the middle of the street? I want in! <laughs> Count me in. Okay, so that's been a nice laid back time. Let's move on to the next question. So, what is your street address, social security number, and bank details? I could only actually give you the street address. I don't even know my social security number. We can look it up together. I live on a lake. That's all I can say. My credit's so bad. I have to get just one person. I just need to switch places with one person. Just for a little bit. I was I posted them gambling on horse races. It would not give you money. That's messed up. I'm not joking. Eleven twenty-one. Expiration date just adds more flavor. 
It adds. It adds strength. It adds that's what's important. Strength. Build character. <laughs> like that. So moving on. So uh, now for, uh, for this segment, I just want you to talk about Ringwood. If you talk about anything in Ringwood or the general era. Just, just talk. You know what? Just you go off. This is your time to shine. Uh, one of the things I've always liked about Ringwood was the lake area and like Erskine, I live by Erskine and yeah yeah, yeah but in Erskine, yeah and the, the lake communities like there's El, the Alcala group or whatever on Erskine and Upper and whatever the Copsall one is and all the other weird lakes that I don't care about Mostly just Erskine and I'll uh, cups off. What is that? Get that away from me. But uh, the lake communities are really cool. That's not distracting at all. Uh, and I always liked that because it was kind of like little tight-knit groups, I guess, and, you know, there'd be, like, events on the lakes and stuff, and I always just loved living on the lake, because it was great, because you just had this huge, like, basically, you could do something on the lake, like, every day, it's not, like, storming out, or in the winter, you could just walk out on the lake, or, you know, play hockey or whatever, so that is the best thing about living in Ringwood for me, was the lakes. And the rest of it is just like, oh yeah, let me go get lost in the woods and like die. That's like the only other part of the world that there is. It's like, let's, let's, let's not forget about our great public education system here in the world. Is that great? I agree. You agree. is in the song. It's really a great song. Mm. Oh, great. Mm. I was hoping the plastic would be louder. Moving on. Uh, that was very distracting. <laughs> so, Gavin, I, I like I like to make sure when people talk about something they're passionate about, they're actually passionate about. You know, the the focus on what they say, they know what they're going to say, and they keep going through even after distraction. That's a, that's a very important thing. That's why I did that, not because I'm an asshole. No, uh, never. Of course never. not. Never. You an asshole? I can never. Ne I, I can never be an asshole. I, I can't stay an asshole because they think they're better than everyone else, and I'm clearly better than them. It's fucking stupid. Moving on. Um, out of these pizza places, Ringwood Skyline, Luigi Geppetto's Pizza One, favorite and why? Three are no Brooklyn favorites, but out of those, five. say them again. Ringwood Skyline, Luigi's. Pizza One. Geppetto's. Because <laughs> it's just a meme. It's just like this little stray place on the side of the road. And it used to be good. So it's just... Uh, no, saying my favorite's not true. Because it's it's a funny meme, but it's really sad if you think about it too much. Uh, yeah. They... they it's like the equivalent of shooting yourself in the foot with what they did with their pizza, like however they changed it. Mm -hmm. But you're shooting yourself in your foot with like a intercontinental ballistic missile. Mm -hmm. And then there's tomato sauce on it, so that makes it even worse. Because now you got your foot's blown off and it's covered in tomatoes. It's not a great combination. Not great combo. Not, I would not recommend tomato sauce and intercontinental ballistic missiles. But uh, what did the abbreviation for that be? T-I-C-B-M? I did use one. Can we wait What were the other options? Uh, Ringwood Skyline Luigi's Pizza One. Mm. Luigi's was pretty. Wait, that's the place by like the diner, right? Yeah. I like Luigi's mm -hmm. because the pizza's good. It's pretty solid <laughs> pizza. I'm just terrible at handshakes. You are weak. <laughs> 
I don't know how hard I'm supposed to grab. Is it like, ah, okay, ah, okay. Ah. Sounds like this, I wish I had the gun over there. Moving on, uh, uh, if you could commit any felony, which one would it be? Is it tax evasion a felony? Not really, that's, I, I call that I call that a habit. You know, Your Honor, I'm just yeah. I'm just doing me. It's 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 we need to decriminalize. Uh, I'm gonna make a bold political statement here on this interview. We need to decriminalize tax evasion. It is an American's fundamental right. It says in the uh, Amendment Point Five, uh, every American must have the right to to not pay his taxes. Look, I'm just saying, if we have the right to bear arms because we don't want the British coming back, we should also have the right not to pay taxes so we don't have to deal with the British. If everyone has the right to take a bear's arms, everyone should have the right to avoid taxes, too. Dude, animal activists have been so pissed about that one. They're like, they're just, they keep bringing it up, and it's like, what? Dude, don't bring it up here. This is like a shooting. Come on. Don't talk about that here. God, people have to find a place in time to talk about these things. But, uh, felony? Uh, murder. Hmm. Classic. It's I, just a classic because, all right, well, I don't like you. It's like I don't like you. Uh, you won't go away, so I make you go away forever, mm -hmm. and then you never come back. Yeah. It's easy solution. You know, I actually shot my cameraman multiple times. It's it's a, it's really a stress reliever. It's like you, you've seen American Psycho, right? It's a classic, mm -hmm. near dear to my heart. Give Did you see how much fun Christian Bale was having when he was? Showing Paul Allen the uh, Huey in the News TV. I'm having a great time. Oh, by the way, do you like Huey Lewis in the News? Yeah, I think yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna use that as a later. Hmm. I should probably stop having those. <laughs> so, uh, before the paramedics are called, let's ask another question. If you had to pick a number, 1 through 10, which one would it be? 4. I respect. I, I can respect four. There's what number would you disrespect? Huh? Hmm. Six. I respect the disrespect. I yeah, cause I I think I, I'm six okay. is cowardly. I think one is one is basic bitch, but understandable. Six is two the is, coward's number, cause six is always afraid because yeah. seven ain't nothing. Yeah. I think seven is a base number. The seven seven eats people. It's lucky. It's also in my hand. So I can't. Is it the other way? I, which way is seven? It's kind of there. But the other hand coming it down makes it look like kind of look like you have the like pie symbol in that. Oh, <laughs> holy shit! Yeah, I'm actually at three point one five two nine eight seven five seven two two five one nine eight seven three. I don't think it was pie. It's the first. The first three digits were, and maybe the fourth, not the fifth. <laughs> So, uh, moving on. Th this is a new question. It's a new question because I want to change it up. What's your most hated company? Ooh, this is a good one. Uh, hmm. A lot of companies to hate. A lot of companies that get too cheap. Just kidding. That last one's not true. You can hate on anything. You're American. It's your God-given right. Mm. I want to say a funny military-industrial complex answer. But I love the military industrial complex. Very near to my heart. So I'm gonna say uh, electronic arts. Mmm. That's understandable. Ruining AAA games for the last 10 years at least. Yeah, I love to see it. I continue with this conversation, but then I have to pay extra for the DLC. Yeah. Uh, so moving on. Uh, we'll, get, we'll get back on back on track, kinda. What's your favorite road? your least favorite road? Skyline Drive. <laughs> I'm hoping you can just say what without cars on it. <laughs> I really like cars, man. I just... The vibe. Okay, so uh, moving on to... Best Lake. First game, Eagle. Mm. Personally, I like Lake Erie, but uh, it's, it is close to Detroit, so I do get it. Uh, next question. Well, you, well you, you can go anywhere. I mean, best capital city. Hmm. 
A lot of capital cities. Does it have to be a capital of a country or a quote oh, yeah. Zurich is kind of gaming. Yes. Because Zurich is kind of gaming. I don't know what that is, but I'm, I'm going to agree with it's it. capital of Switzerland. Oh, based. Okay. They're literally gaming. Oh. Like in New York, you just see more buildings in the distance. Do you know what you see in the distance in Switzerland? No. The, the bloody Alps. Oh. And you don't need a car to go like five feet. You can like walk okay. around the whole city. It's based. Switzerland actually is really nice. People. Good answer. And thank God you didn't say something in the middle of the goddamn Midwest. I. Motherfuckers watch fucking Wizard of Oz once and they're like, that. <laughs> oh my god, that's so mean. Okay, so, you know, we got a pretty laid back interview. You know what? Go to sleep, my lucky hat. Women feel me, fish love me. I know that's the inverse of the noble shirt that says, Women love me, fish feel me. But it's much funnier to imply that I'm sexually attracted to fish. So, we're having a nice fun time, so let's just, let's just keep going. Sorry, I saw a fish, and I thought it'd be funny to caress it. Okay. Back to the joke. So, we have a nice laid back time, so let's just put it on the table. If you can call in a tactical Boeing B 52 Stratus Fortress airstrike on any sovereign nation, why would it be no way? Well, it's not really a tactical close support aircraft, it's a heavy strategic bomber. But, Norway has a lot of oil. I want oil. They're not giving Understand. me their oil. They need their oil. We need to take their oil. It's the economy. Yeah. For, it is for the economy. I would kill anyone for the economy. I would, ki I would kill everyone for the economy. I, I, including myself. Yes. As long as the stock market is up, I can be down. In the ground. I six love feet the stock under. market. <laughs> but at the end of my life, my note my no will just be, I did it for the economy. It's uh, kind of the carpet thong all blown out for the economy. <laughs> God, okay. Second to last Civilian question. Civilian casualties, uh, don't you mean stonks? Second to last question. I feel like I already know the answer, but Ringwood Ave was Skyline Draw. Both, depending on how far from, like... I, I do it based on, like, how far you are from, uh... From where you live. From where I live. Mm. Like, if you're in... Like, once you go up by, uh, like, the diner, mm -hmm. then I just start, like, sky, oh, yeah, Skyline Drive. But then when it's closer the other way, then it's, like, Ringwood Ave. Mm -hmm. I guess. I get that. That's, that's the rationale. You know, a, a man, a man of dual, of, of dual opinions. Ringwood Ave slash Skyline uh, Drive. It's the duality of man. Duality of man. One, one makes me angry, the other one also makes me angry. God, I fucking hate these roads. <laughs> okay. I got the worst roads here, it's so bad on the lakes. Like, oh, you're trying to leave your house. Oh, the road bends, you can only see like 20 feet in the direction, and then people speed like 20 miles over the speed limit around the corner, like ready to hit children. <laughs> I can't wait to make this right turn. Oh, fuck, I found the void. <laughs> Uh, okay. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad that was a nice non-controversial question. So let's move on to the next final non-controversial question: best religion. Oh, oh my God! We're people out of time. Oh shucks. Oh man, we couldn't answer that super non-controversial question. Oh, thank you so much for coming. That's gonna be really funny if you ask Niall that. <laughs> I gotta send Niall. So. <laughs> let's see if he's in another part. Yeah, so, uh... He's gonna extend the interview by another, like, 30 minutes of theological debate. <laughs> I'm gonna turn the camera off, and you're just gonna keep hearing the audio. <laughs> oh, and also, by the way, yes, the original Flintstone Gummies would expire, but these were uh, Hasbro... Yeah, it's Hasbro, right? Hasbro Gummy Bears, is that the fucking... That's a toy brand, right? Yes. And yes. The same thing, on. Okay. Uh, they're just gummy bears, so I did not ingest one of some gummies during this recording. Why do you say that? No. Well, but you think I was gonna waste the whole thing from some gummies? I mean, it, it wasn't okay. even a full year expired. Okay. <laughs> they're, they're only really good after you've let them expire for like three years. It's like aging wine. It's like.
Hello everyone, my name is Jacob Robert Briggs and today I'm going to be doing another interview because I decided to make a documentary and I was like, hey, if I'm getting interviews, why not make it 10 minutes long and then I have one that was half an hour long. So, hmm. So, uh, let's begin. What is your name? Antonio Berardi. Great, okay, great to have you. So Thanks we just, for having me, I'm, I'm excited. So, uh, we just, I just have a, like a quick baseline question, just helps to... It's like a lie detector. You have to have a baseline question just so you know everything else isn't complete bullshit. So, who is your favorite filmmaker in Ringwood? Jake Briggs, obviously. Why am I like, if like, <laughs> listen, if I'm like here and like, I'm like supporting somebody, it's not because I, uh, I'm gonna be fake around him. No, like, he's the best filmmaker in Ringwood. Better than Dave Dog. Better than Dave Dog. That's high praise, and Dave Dog's, Dave Dog's coming right Sorry, out, Dave so. Dog. Sorry, Dave Dog. Ah. You know what? That is now the third person to say that out of five people. So those other two, I'm going to have to come after later. But good. Let's, <laughs> let's begin with the question. So, if you had described Ringwood in one word, what would it be? You know, Ringwood really... I don't really have one word to describe about it, but I could tell you a little bit about it. It's like a sanctuary, if you want to say it's that one word. So what I mean by a sanctuary is... Right over here in Ringwood, you have all your trees, you have all your, um, you just have a really nice area to live, you know? It's like, you're in, you're in the woods. I mean, I kind of grew up upstate New York a little bit, like, just hanging around there when I was a little kid, but I've lived in Ringwood all my life. Um, but you see a lot of similarities between Ringwood and upstate. But, you know what upstate doesn't have? They don't have New York City literally right at the top of every mountain because if you go to every mountaintop in Ringwood, you can see New York City. Um, you know, you just, you don't get a town like this. You don't get urban in a woodsy area, you know? It's just, it's beautiful because like I could go retreat into my, my part of the woods. Nobody bothers me. I could do whatever I want. And then I go out and I'm in the urban area. I could make money. I can talk with people, socialize, go to the gym. I could do whatever I want. So it's like, we have the best of both worlds. We can go hide in the woods and we can go out into the public, you know? And that's why Ringwood's the best. But I love the woods. Wonderful, that's very exciting. A lot, a lot better than some of the other ones where they just said nature. But well, you gotta describe what you're talking yeah. about because if you gotta, off like you're a salesman because say if I'm a real estate guy I'm trying to sell you a house in Ringwood you're gonna ask me all right well what's your favorite part about Ringwood and I'm the realtor I'm gonna say nature nature I just like nature no you got to sell your your buyer on the product you know you got to be a salesperson if you want to get somewhere in life just keep talking till you make it good looks to live by so, moving on to our next question, this is more vain. What metaphor, simile, allegory, etc., etc., would you use to describe Ringo? Peaceful. Just it's amazing over here. I mean, everything that I just said, you can go hide in the woods and then go out into the urban area. Haskell. I mean, those Haskell rascals, that's what I'm talking about. That's, that's the urban part of us, but I love you guys. Um, so, yeah, it's peaceful. I, I just love where I live. I, I wouldn't... I probably would not pick anywhere else to grow up besides, like, a beachfront area. I mean, we don't have beaches over here, but I'm talking, like, oceans, you know? Not like Cup Salt Lake. <laughs> Very nice. So, moving on to a little bit more just ca uh, casual questions. So, what's your favorite restaurant slash local food place in Ringwood or the surrounding area? Oh, so God, you're asking the right person <laughs> for this. I'm gonna give a big shout out to Ari from Skyline Pizza. If you want pizza in Ringwood, you go, go to Ari, you tell him Antonio sent you, you'll love that pizza. Ari's the best, he's the man. Um, but there's a couple nice sit down restaurants here in town. The Lakeside Diner's pretty good, the owner Chris, very good guy. Um, we have a new restaurant coming in town which I'm gonna keep quiet about, but it's a really, really good spot that's going to be opening up. Um, but, you know what? If you want, like, some Chinese food, Spring Chinese down in Stop and Shop, they're really good. Um, Mexican food. Mexican food. 
it's one specific place I like. All right, it's in uh, Pompton Plains, I think. Yeah, Pompton Plains, in the border of uh, shit. What's that town? Kenalon. Kenalon. It's around there. It's a place called. Oh shit. You're gonna have to cut some of this out. No, it's fine. Oh boy. Um, no, Paquanic. It's in Paquanic. I'm sorry. I sound like Joe Biden right now. Just forgetting where I'm at. Um, Paquanic. It's a place called Chano's Latin Kitchen. Um, best Mexican food. But um, yeah, if anybody ever wants to know of a good restaurant to go to, hit me up and let's go. I'll tell you. Yeah, we got an expert on the scene. Let's here. go. We got an expert eater over here. Yeah. This is the most cringy interview ever. Oh, it's going to get a lot worse. Oh, God. Oh, God. Actually, or better. We don't know. All right. Well, let's see. Let's so, see. I mean, I kind of stumbled a little bit, but oh, trust I'll me. just leave it to you. So, moving on. Um, do you know the name of the mayor of Redwood? Because I'm going to be honest. I, I Me. I'm the mayor. Thank you, sir. I'm the mayor. No, I don't know the actual mayor of Ringwood, but like. I could be the mayor. You could be the mayor. Oh, I could. Oh, I we've gone through this. I've gone through this question multiple times, and like I've had the answer told to me by like people off screen, and all I remember is his first name is Sean. That's it. Thank you for your service, Sean. Thank, Thank you, you so Sean. much. But I'm the mayor. I'm the also guy. take over coming in. Uh, moving on. So, how many people would you say live in Ringwood? Just like an estimate. Oh, like I know. I don't want to say like an estimate, but. I know it's around 14,000, 14,500, yeah. around there. Pretty close. Uh, around, I think, 12,648, based on Wikipedia. So, could be completely wrong, but... Might have won up. Pretty good guess. I'm, I'm honestly surprised how well... Because uh, I've, I've asked this question to other people. Everyone has guessed, like, really well guesses. Like, everyone has had really good guesses. I'm terrible at guessing populations. Uh, so, I know, it just surprises me. So, now moving away from populations and on to... Land masses, we're getting the, all the school stuff basically done. Which has a greater land mass, Ringwood or the whole island of Bermuda? I think I'm going to say Ringwood. And you'd be right. It's, it's very surprising because, uh, you know. Because I've been to Bermuda before, and that place feels like it's very small. But like Ringwood, mm-hmm. I could go from one side of town to the other side of town, and I feel like I'm in a completely different area. No, it's it's crazy how much of, and that's not even counting like the wood area. Cause yeah, because also know that a lot of Ringwood is just state land, state forest. So we really don't get to explore a lot of Ringwood unless you're a hiker or you like the outdoors like me. Okay. So, uh, move on to the next question. Do you even technically live in Ringwood? I do. You do? Okay. So I, I I have to ask this question because I just. I, I, out of all the people I asked, I have no idea where the Ringwood boundaries are, so I have no idea if they're technically part of Ringwood or not. Well, I live in so, Ringwood, very close yeah. to a different boundary, but I'm still in the town. Hey, Ringwood represent. So, uh, so you know, we, this has been a pretty, you know, lax interview. You know, we've had a few good. You know what? On here, uh, you can spin this, spin this lottery thing. Right here. Well, so you know, just have a good time. Uh, what did I get? You got something. So, uh, you know. We're gonna be like, Steve will do it right now. Come on, come on. Let's win, let's win. Wizza, Wizza, let's go. I mean, I got the bar up there, but, like, that doesn't help me. Okay, so, you know, pretty laid back interview. So, we're just gonna move on to the next pretty laid back question. What are your street address, social security number, and bank details? Oh, come on. I'm not saying that in front of a live audience. Well, the audience is it's pre recorded, so it's okay. Yeah, but, like, they're gonna eventually see this live one. Yeah, I can't say where I live, or... I mean, I could tell you off the camera where I live, but the other stuff, like Social Security, bank, I mean, I've got a lot of bills to pay. I don't think you want to pay my bills. I am in such bad debt right now. Please, I need this. Debt? What are you in debt from? So much horse racing. I, 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 please, I, I just need someone else's number for a little bit, because then I'll bet on the right horses this time, and then I'll get out of debt. Trade it off. Do I get a commission? 50% 50% of your winnings, if you win anything, but you're not using my money. There we go. Deal. Yes. 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 Yes.
finesse. That's how I you didn't finesse. Have kids. That's how you finesse. Okay, so uh, for this segment, uh, just talk about anything we're going to bring with. Anything they are really passionate about, just any any possible thing. Nature, food. Oh God, I mean, I'm just gonna say there's so much to do here in town. You know, I mean. If you live in a lake community, you can go to the beach every day in the summer when it's nice out. You can, um, you can join a local sports team. You can join the Boy Scouts. 76! 76! Come on, say it. 76! There we go. So you can join Troop 76. Go to Novi Bosco every summer. We are the best summer camp, and um, it's, it's a blast. Some of those memories I'll never... Never forget. Nobi Nobi has a special spot in my heart. Um No, but Ringwood, there's just really a lot to do and there's a lot of what I love about this town is it's not like I don't want to get like racist or anything, but like you know how like you know That's no, never the right no, thing to stop. No, but like you know how like some towns are just known for having like certain like races of people like in one area? What's good about Ringwood is we have just everybody. All cultures, everybody lives here, and it's like we get we get to accept everybody for who everybody is. It's not like you go to like a certain town and you're only exposed to like rednecks or something. So it's not like you get to meet all different types of people and learn about all different types of cultures and stuff. It's there's a lot of people to meet over here, a lot of interesting people, and um, a lot of them are very nice, very outspoken, and. Um, they kind of made me the person who I am today, just going around Ringwood and meeting everybody. You know, there's, you'll never get bored of people over here is what I'm trying to say. It's not just one group of people lives here. It's all types of people live over here. And that's just, that's amazing to live in a community like that where we accept everybody for who everybody is as a person. Um, what else is cool about this town? We got good food, like I said before. <laughs> I mean, go to Ari if you're hungry, you want some pizza. Or, um, yeah, there's there's a lot of good stuff to do over here. A lot of good people, a lot of good things to see. Nature's always a pleasure. Um, just can't complain about much in this town. It's a lovely place to live. Wonderful. Yeah, I, I, can, I can speak for that. It, as much as I'll shit on this place, it is quite fantastic. You can't shit on Redwood. Yeah, I admit it. Uh, moving on to our next question. We, we talked, I guess, a little bit about this. So, out of these pizza places, Ringwood, Skyline, Luigi's, Pizza One, and Geppetto's, favorite and why? I just said it. Skyline I, Pizza, go to Ari. Cut the BS and just go to Ari. He'll appreciate your business. But, um... Yeah. Geppetto's, though, they're a joke. That place is a joke. I'm sorry. Um... But all the other good pizza places around town, they all have their um, their specialties. They all do good at something. They're all good at one thing, making pizza. But I just I prefer Ari. Ari's the man. Yeah, I mean, when you when you have someone on the inside, especially like someone that you're connected with, it really does elevate that place. So, yeah. He's okay. a good guy. So now, uh, moving on, you know, another lighthearted question. If you can commit any felony, which one would it be and why? I don't think I'm going to say that on camera. Well, any felony. A felony? Yeah, any. Any single one. No repercussions. I don't know. There's a lot of things I could do. What are you, drinking? Well, yeah, mine would be underage drinking, so. Um. I don't know. I really don't commit crime. I, I don't really think about committing crime. It's, uh... What's a felony? I mean, you, like, can, I mean, like, like, you can go with classic murder. You could say tax evasion, but that's not really a crime. That's more of just people resisting the corrupt government. Uh, tax evasion, okay? Right. Tax evasion. Let's just keep it simple. Simple, clean, efficient. Moving on. Uh... If you had to pick a number one through ten, which one would you pick? Four. Mm, classic four. I, I I can respect four. You know, I'm I'm waiting for four doors, more whores. 
I'll, you know, I'm going to say I'll still respect number four. As long as it's not six. Six is the one number I won't respect in that regard. So. Just uh, pick a card. Just, Who are you, Nina? Yeah, take okay, you got your card. Can I look at it? Yeah, show it to the camera. business, small business, preferably a large business, because... Yeah, we don't like large businesses. We want to we want to take them down because they kill the common man. It's, um, it's a monopoly. It sucks, big businesses, but... If I had to say one business, probably would be BlackRock. And if you don't know what BlackRock is, do your research about them. But they basically control the entire world. And it's scary. Look them up. Okay, okay so uh, moving on. Uh, favorite road? Like any, any of the roads? Westbrook road. road. Sure, yeah. Westbrook road. I love coming home around those turns and just seeing the reservoir because most of the time I'm coming home, it's sunset and you just see like the pink sun going down on the water and like orange in the sky, oh, it's beautiful. You can't beat that. So now, uh, in the same road, what's your least favorite road? Least favorite road? Clinton Road. And for those of you who are watching, I'm not going to tell the story, but you might know why I'm saying Clinton Road. We're just going to zip it. Nothing happened on Clinton Road. No, nothing, nothing happened. happened. Nothing, nothing happened. happened. Nothing, nothing happened. happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Square. So, uh, moving on, what do you think the best lake is? The best lake, like, in the world or in Ringwood? Yes. In the world. Let's go to Lake George. Lake George, you, you, you can't beat that lake. Yeah, it's phenomenal. My grandfather has been taking me on his boat on that lake for many, many years, and it never gets old. Never gets old. But in Ringwood... I've got to say Skyline Lake. I just feel like out of all the lakes, it's pretty clean. But I do like what goes up in Erskine with all those activities that everybody does every weekend. They got a really, really close community. They got stuff going on every day. I think for lake community-wise, if you want to like be involved with your community, you go to Erskine. If you want to go to um, Skyline Lakes, that's like where you want to chill. That's kind of, it reminds me of Stonetown more like over here. And um, Cupsaw Lake, it's a great lake too. I just, I prefer the other two lakes, but it's a great place to live also. Nice. So, uh, moving on to the next one. Best capital city. You do, just don't name one in the Midwest. I had two people just name one in the Midwest. I have no idea why. Capital City? Where's, you know where's a really good place, really cool place that I would love to visit one day? I would love to go to Dubai. And I know that's not the capital of the United Arab Emirates. <laughs> that's another city. But I want to go to Dubai so bad one day. You got supercars all around you. Oh, the is awesome. A lot of good food, a lot of good culture over there, too. You'll meet a lot of people over there. So we've had a, a lot of nice, you know, chill questions, so let's just keep going with this next one. If you could call in a tactical Boeing B-52 Stratus Force airstrike on any sovereign nation, why would it be Norway? I don't know. I don't know why I would just randomly attack Norway, either. Look, they've that, had it too good for too long. Someone yeah, has why, to why are you going to ruin good on somebody that's been doing really well? It's like... Don't we want to get the world in a position where we could all be good at once? It's like, maybe Norway could be our inspiration to, like, smarten up in the world. Because the world, we're pretty stupid right now in 2022. It's uh, horrendous what's going on. 
maybe a place like Norway would be a place to have. I don't know. I love the United States, though. I'll never give up on this country. This is the greatest country on earth. I was just having Norway. They've had it too, too long. They have to lose something. No. Uh, moving on, second to last question. Ringwood Ave or Skyline Drive? Ringwood Ave. One day, I'm going to be going down Ringwood Ave in whatever Ferrari or Lamborghini I have at the time or whatever car. I love cars. I just can't wait to just go be like that, just going down Ringwood Ave, going down Ringwood Ave in my Ferrari and just, like, chill. Like, everybody that I grew up with, I'm not trying to, like, sound, like, cocky or anything, but they'll see me be successful, the kids who stay behind in this town, and, um... Hopefully I can motivate them to work hard like me. If I even ever make it. For all you know, I could just be a bum on the street one day. Or I could be some rich guy. Who knows? Nobody knows what the world has ahead of me. I just got my vision in my head. I'm trying to work towards it. And if it doesn't happen, you know what? I'll still be happy. I'm alive. If you're alive, you should be the happiest you should be. The good minds have to live by. Okay, and so uh, for a final question... Uh, another another nice non-controversial question. All. What's the best religion? Oh oh my God! Wait, people are out of time. Oh man! Oh, it sucks that we can't answer that question. That is not controversial at all. Uh, thank you for coming. Uh, thank you so much really for really having good. me. It was a little bit awkward, but you know yeah. what? We got it done. We got it done, and now it's done. Uh, also, uh, this is full of propel because I just have to state at every at the end of every interview that I'm not actually breaking the law. Just... I smell vodka. I okay. Think, I think you're lying. Hello there, Ringwood. My name is Jacob Robert Briggs, and I'm doing another interview uh, because why would I stop at number seven or eight or whichever number this is? Uh, so let's begin. What is your name? My name is David Gordon, but a lot of people call me Dave Dog or Dave Dog 15 That's my YouTube and TikTok name, so I can go by either or. I thought we've had a dog on the interview, so that's it's good. Yeah. We're breaking out. Some people do call me the dog, so some people do call me the dog, so yeah. So uh, we wanna. So uh, you know, are you familiar with lie detector test? Yeah. Uh, so you Perfect. know how the, they have like baseline questions. Just you know, make sure your heartbeat's going. I, I just want to have another you know quick baseline question, uh, just to make sure you're not lying throughout this whole interview. So, who's your favorite filmmaker in Ringwood? Filmmaker in Ringwood, of course, Jacob Robert Briggs. Good. Okay. So now we know everything he's saying <laughs> is a lie. Okay. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So uh, let's jump into this. If you had described Ringwood in one word, what would it be? Honestly, I would probably say lakey, because it's just full of lakes. Like, there's lakes pretty much every part of Ringwood. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. Uh, there's a lot of water running through Ringwood, uh, and most of it is in lakes. So, I was going to say moving on, but I like, don't do all these interviews. I realize I keep saying that over and over again, so let's proceed. Uh, what metaphor, simile, allegory, etc. would you use to describe Ringwood? Okay, if I would describe it in a simile, I would just say, Ringwood is like a big pool because it has all these, as I said before, all these lakes. And basically, one lake is connected to another, so it's basically one big pool because if you might be in one lake, you could end up in another lake, you never know. So it's like one huge pool. Nice, nice talking about the aquatic aspects of Ringwood. Yeah. And honestly, that's not a part that gets brought up too much. You know, a lot of, for being such a nature's place, you know, a lot of ocean life. I, I don't feel like it. Moving on. Can I get it again? So, you, you've eaten before, right? Of course. You converted food into energy, like all living things do, hopefully. I need to eat after this interview, because I'm starving. Mm, excellent, because I don't feed people. So, uh, this is just a personal preference. What's your favorite restaurant or food place in Ringwood or the surrounding area? So not specifically in Ringwood, but the surrounding area. Um, okay. In the surrounding area, I'm, I'm going to go a little bold. I'll do Ringwood and the surrounding area. Just for extra content here. So Ringwood, I would say like Side Diner. It's a very underrated place. And their food is really not that bad. They have great like, service there. People are nice. The owners are nice. So honestly, like Side Diner is my favorite uh, eatery in Ringwood. And if one of you, overall, I would probably have to say, um, maybe the Lantern. They have good 
food there. I really enjoy most of their food there. So, we go with the lantern on that. You know, I've always passed by that place. I haven't been there. I've always wanted to go try that. So, maybe I'll uh, pick you up on your offer. Yeah. So, uh, now we can get into some more just baseline questions. Uh, simple questions. So, do you know the name of the mirror of Rainbow? I do not. Good. I, I don't I don't either. I know I, we've gone through this question in multiple interviews and I've been told the answer. All I remember is that his first name is Sean. So could be Mayorhouse or was it? Yeah, it could so, be Sean Mayorhouse. Could be you Sean Mayorhouse. <laughs> which if so, let's hope the scandal doesn't get brought up. Yeah, I know the mayor of one of you. Dan Mahler, his name is. Ah, that's there. Which has a greater limb? I was going that question. I messed up the order. Which has a greater limb? Greenwood for the entire island of Bermuda. Tyler, I Bermuda. Um, I would probably say Bermuda. Actually, Greenwood surprisingly has a larger land. Really? Yeah, it, uh, I mean, Bermuda has more people, but uh, Ringwood has just so much woods. It's crazy yeah. how much. That I think about it, and that makes sense. Yeah. Bam. So, uh, I guess, moving back to Ringwood. How many people would you say live in Ringwood? Hmm. I feel like I've looked this up before. I would say somewhere like maybe 10,000 in the 10,000. Pretty close. It's about 12,648 off Wikipedia. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, I'm always I'm always surprised. I all, all the guests I've had on these interviews, uh, I've been really close with their guesses, and because I'm terrible with guessing populations, so people yeah. surprisingly good at it. So that's it. Wonderful. Uh, so, uh, another question. Do you technically live in Ringwood? Yeah, this is actually, I was waiting for this question. I was watching the other interviews and I was waiting for this. Technically, no. I'm still considered one of you. But where I live, Canterbury Road is right across the way. And also, if you go a little past my house, it's still one of you. But then if you get near, like, Spring Lake area, it's also Ringwood. So it's weird. I'm, and I'm in a certain area where it's like Ringwood and Wanakew surround the area, so it's a weird area, but I'm still technically one of you. Yeah, let it know we've heard. Yeah, and that, I mean, I also, that question is also important just because uh, this whole documentary is about Ringwood and the surrounding area, yeah. because Ringwood is is basically the surrounding area as well. It's yeah. all interconnected. Yeah. But, so, you know, we had a pretty laid-back interview, you know. Pretty what laid you got back. there? We got, you got, Oh, I used to love those things. They got banned in school. Yeah. They did, which was very funny. I'm so sad about depressing. that. <sighs> when I want to take a spin. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. We, yeah. So you know, just this isn't to like you know blow your guard or anything. So reveal crucial information. It's just a nice, relaxing question. What is your street address, social security number, and bank details? Oh, oh, we're gonna get into that now. Um, my street address. Huh. That's a good question. I live on a street called Street, Street Street, in, in Street Street, New Jersey. What's your social security number? My social security number is eight six seven five three zero nine. You get a whole song about that. Oh yeah. Yep. Kind of, okay. And, and your bank details? My bank details. Um. What specifically about my bank details? Uh, you know, I, honestly, I can think of credit card. You know, uh, you know, if you could just tell me the, the numbers on the front, that, uh, the numbers on the front, the expiration month, the year, and the three wacky digits on the back. Oh. I think, I think uh, you could help John Wick secure the Abbey Group to avoid that. I think that's really fine. Uh, 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 on my bank details, um, I don't have an answer for that. <sighs> One of these days, I'm gonna sell some. That is not good, guys. Don't do that. Okay. Well, we'll get to that. So, uh, so now, uh, this segment right here. I just want you to talk about anything regarding Ringwood. So, uh, anything, anything that you're really passionate about, something that, anything, it could be about anything, it's your time to go off. And I'll, and I'll be wide-eyed listening the whole time. Okay. Honestly, Ringwood is a good place. It has a lot of entertainment between, as I said before, the lakes. They have a lot of different, um, areas to hang out. A lot of, uh, what's it called? Um, like, hiking places. Places to hike. 
and just overall, it's like an, more of an entertaining town than definitely wanting to have to. I agree. And it has a lot of places to eat, of course, and entertainment, so. And it's headphones you got there, too. I agree. And what we got over there? Just Dance Summer Party. I played a little bit of Just Dance in my day, not too much of it. Oh, it's not in there? What happened to it? The group consumed it. Um, and we gotta talk about the Just Dance part of but thank you. Uh, you know, it's, it's very nice to hear people talk about things they're passionate about. Uh, it really helped make this town feel less NPC like So, uh, yeah. uh, moving on. Out of these pizza places, because I know there's more, which I just found out, there's so many better pizza places. Ringwood, Skyline, Luigi's, Pizza One, Geppetto's, favorite and why? Hmm. I don't eat too much of Pizza One, so I can't, I don't exactly like, like the pizza too much, as a lot of people say. So if anyone, I was probably, Geppetto's is pretty good. I'm not a hater of Geppetto's, but if I had to choose one, it would probably be Luigi's. Oh. Yes. They have a great menu. They have like a big menu as well, so there's a lot to, to like pick from. And their pizza is really good. I like their pizza. Mm -hmm. I enjoy their pizza. Just had it the other day. And it was really good. Yeah. I, I, we could just saw, I, I mean, honestly, all the pizza plates here are pretty solid. It's just surprising though how, like, how many of them are. It's yeah. crazy. The Skyline I've ate from a couple times. It's not too bad. And <laughs> I've actually never tried the other Ringwood pizza. Oh, yeah, that's one by uh, Goldberg. Goldberg my yeah, I've never tried that one. Yeah, I, I haven't either, because I, I mean, normally I just go to Skyline if I'm on the way out, because it's in that little cubby area, but... Yeah. Yeah. So, moving on. Uh, you know, another pretty chill question. If you could commit any felony, which one would it be? Mm. And why? I guess because it's... I guess the easiest one to get rid of is... I mean, get rid of, and I mean to, to get away with. Oh, no, it's... it's Actually, name one that you would do if you, can get, if you couldn't get away with it, and one that you, if you had complete immunity. Okay. I would do robbery. Okay. That's probably the easiest one to get away with. Yeah. There you go. What do you got there? Well, I would pick an, I would pick underage drinking, because you can't get caught with that if you're in your own house. Oh, you're yeah, it's true. Get in three HD cameras. Yeah, you have a little more privacy in your home. That is true. <laughs> Um, now the one that I, this is a tough one, I can't get away with it, I don't want to say anything too crazy to make people think I'm crazy, but, um, let's see here, I guess, what's that smell there? It smells like Too bad, but um, uh, okay, no crime. If you, if you, I mean, no, that that is a small play. If you, if you are hundred percent protected, don't commit crime. Of course, yeah. Great. What do you got there? Oh, this is me doing inhalants. So, um, <sighs> people respect my book. Okay. okay, moving on to the next one. Um, if you had to pick a number one through ten, which one would it be? Number one through ten. I would probably go with um eight. Eight, I like eight. I respect eight. Eight is a nice solid. It's a higher number between one and ten. It's just a lot of things are coordinated with eight. Yeah. You've got the lucky eight Digital ball. Clocks as well. What's that? Digital clocks because they have like eight as the main number. And yeah. Yeah. And you have the lucky eight ball and everything like that. Yeah, let's go with eight. Yeah. Could you actually, if you looked up that Ringwood hat, uh, yeah. quick, looked up those binoculars real quick. Seen the guys on the floor. Uh, can you grab that quadro right there and show it to the camera? Yeah. That's not going to make sense in this interview, but if you watch this one right after Antonio's, mind blown. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. That's it. I'm going to put this back. Uh, you just don't remember Carl will change at the end of this interview. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna do that. 
So, uh, moving on. What's your most hated company? It could be any type of company. It could be video games, food place, large business, preferably not a small business that's in Ringwood. <laughs> but if you if you got that much hatred, then I can't stop you. Yeah, nothing in Ringwood, but um, any service. Um, probably Direct TV or Optimum. It's because Direct TV, it's terrible with like TV connection and everything. And Optimum, you have terrible time, like communicating with people. Yeah, and help if they help you. And the Wi-Fi is okay. It could be better. It could be worse. So, I get that. Yeah, internet companies are not pog in my opinion. But actually, yeah. you know what? It, actually, no. I, actually, I love you, internet, internet company. Please don't cut my internet. I needed to edit. Please. <laughs> that was a bad call on my book. Okay, moving on. Um, what's your favorite road? My favorite road. Does it have to be in this area, or no? You get any road in the whole world. Huh? Could be here. Could be uh, Tiananmen Square, June nineteenth, nineteen eighty nine. I mean, I don't know why you picked that specifically because nothing happened there. Yeah. Um. I don't know. Well, much roads like besides this area. So I guess I'm just gonna go local. Um, Ringwood Ave's busy, Skyline Drive is a pretty fun road, and it has some good things like hiking and stuff, and obviously Skyline Drive, Fieldstone area, you have a lot of places to eat and places to do, so probably Skyline Drive. Nice. Okay. Skyline Drive. So, on the opposite side, what's your least favorite road? My least favorite road? Ringwood Ave, it's just, it's just so busy, and there's just so much going on, and there's traffic sometimes, and so overall, it's a, there's a lot of stuff to do on that road, but sometimes it can get a little crazy. I get that. So, moving on, I keep saying that, Best Lake. Best Lake? I haven't been to, to pretty much any of the lakes, but from what I hear, I would say Cups are. I heard it's like a really good lake and it, it's a big lake too. Mm -hmm. yeah, nice, nice. So moving on, again, I keep saying that. Best capital city. Best capital city in the world. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Um, let's go with, eh, I'll just go basic here. Washington, D.C. Awesome. Classic. It's the nation's capital, you know. Got the White House, the Prez, and it's a very fun place to visit too. I've been there for my eighth grade trip. I liked it over there. I would definitely go back one day. Okay, very nice there. Okay, uh, so uh, moving on to another relaxed, chill question. Okay. If you could call in a tactical Boeing B-52 Stratus Fortress airstrike on any sovereign nation, why would it be Norway? Norway? Mm. I guess I'm choosing Norway? Oh yeah, well, why wouldn't you? They've had it too good for too long, and they're not prepared to lose, and that's why they have to. Norway? Um, I'm not completely sure on that one. Look, I'm just saying, if you had to pick any combination to air freight, you can't pick one that's already gone through enough. Okay? Yeah. You can't pick like a war torn nation or you know one where people are just who, who fought enough and getting better. Norway, they've had too good for too long. Think about it. When has Norway ever done anything? That's right, never. They need to step up. Yeah. Get to make them. Okay, uh, so second to the last question. Nice joke. Ring would have a skyline drive. Well, as you probably heard, I said it earlier, so skyline drive. Because it's a more relaxed road, besides it being very curvy and everything. Yeah, I'll just go with Skyline Drive, to be honest. Okay, uh, and for our last question, something not controversial. Best religion. Oh, yes. oh wait, oh my god, oh I'm like, it'll be out of time! Oh, oh my oh, god! Right. Oh, I can't believe that's when we run out of time on that question specifically. Huh. Oh, okay, well, uh, thank you for coming. Yeah, uh, thank, thank you for the interview. interview. It's been a pleasure being uh, here. It's been a pleasure.
Uh, and also, just so we're clear, uh, this is I. This is an act. This is like an air freshener thing. I'm not actually doing inhalants. At the end of each one of these, I have to dissuade the fact that I'm actually breaking the law. Uh, and the flask had propel in it, and now it has nothing in it. Smells great, right? Yeah, I smell that. Uh, it smells really good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Bye, guys. Hi Ringwood, uh, I'm I'm Jacob Robert Briggs, and I'm doing interviews again for the eighth, eighth time, maybe seventh, maybe ninth. Uh, so let's forget. What is your name? My name is Matthew Charles Geisel. First, that's good. Just had to make sure for identity purposes. You never know. We have people just run on the set, they rob me, and then they leave. I'm pretty sure that was just a normal crime, but it is what it is. So uh, you know lie detector test, right? Yes, I do. So you know, at the, at the beginning of them, they ask like just a, a baseline question, just so they make sure you're not lying, right? Of course. Okay. Who is your favorite filmmaker in Ring? Um, Jacob Robert Briggs. Okay, so we know he's lying. Good. Okay. So we're in this. So let's begin with these questions. If you had to describe Ringwood in one word, what would it be and why? Um, I'd say trees, because there's a lot of trees. You're not wrong. You know what? Fair. Uh, moving on from that, uh, what metaphor, simile, allegory, etc., would you use to describe Ringwood? I'd say Ringwood is like if someone took a little bit of Pennsylvania and put it in New Jersey and had it blend with New Jersey. So you have a little bit of Pennsylvania and a little bit of New Jersey. Nice. Yeah. So moving on, um, you've eaten before, right? Yes. Yeah, okay, good. Last, last, you, know, you never know. Uh, so, what's your favorite restaurant, food place, etc., uh, in Ringwood or the local area? Cause... I'd have to say Nene's because there's really not much else. There's like five diners and then Nene's, and that's about it. So, I like it because it's not a diner. Mm. You know, that is, that's an acceptable reason. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, now moving away from the uh, documentary questions and on to just some other questions. So, number uh, number one, do you know the name of the mayor of Ringwood? Oh, I did. It's like a little old lady. Oh, Schaefer. Linda Schaefer. That used to be the mayor. It changed? It, I know. Okay, it used to be it used to be Schaefer, and then uh, it was this other woman called Linda, and now it's this guy called Sean something. I forget the last name. I... Literally in other video interviews, I had the name told to me, completely forget it. Really? Yeah, I, I, his first name's Sean. So, uh, but that's that's about the uh, reaction I was expecting. No one knows who ru rules Springwood. It's... I thought it was Linda Schaefer. I... Oh, Linda, Linda, maybe. At one point. Now it's someone else. I'm, it's weird. Moving on. How many people would you say live in Springwood? I actually know this. It's like 12,000. Yeah, that's fine. It's twelve thousand six hundred forty-eight, based on Wikipedia. So, mm -hmm. could someone could have changed that, and I could completely be off. But who guess? Uh, now, which has a greater landmass, Ringwood or the entire island of Bermuda? Based on the fact that you're asking me this question, I'm gonna guess Ringwood. That is good deductive logic. Because, uh, yeah, Ringwood is surprisingly bigger than the entire island of Bermuda. How many people are on the island of Bermuda? 65,000. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. A lot of churches as well. I think there's like over 100 churches on that island. I've counted. You've counted every single church? Yeah, whenever I, yeah, whenever we would like, like, go on a path, I would like, look in the distance and see how many churches there are. Oh, okay. It's like, it's like uh, counting cars except churches. We have like two, I think. We have four. Yeah, we'll give or take. There's... Martin Luther. Presbyterian. Presbyterian. Is the Martin Luther one the same as the Christ the King one? Ah, uh, it's near that. I... We'll get, we'll get back to that. We'll okay. get back to that final question. Uh, so now, uh, just a quick question. Do you even technically live in Ring? Currently, yes, but I will not soon. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I, right now, I currently do. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just have to make sure. I Here's the thing. I, I, I know, like, three people that I know are in or not in Ringwood. Like, I know whether or not they're in Ringwood, 
everyone else in the enclosure, because I don't know what the boundaries of Ringwood are. I know that once you get over Skyline Drive, it becomes Oakland, and once you're at Golden State Plaza, you're not in Ringwood. So that's my distance of that. that. That's a pretty fuzzy distance there. In, but in between those two areas is the boundary for Ringwood, so. Okay. So, this has been a pretty laid back interview, right? You know what, Matt, if you, if you check uh, under the Union Jacket, you see a, uh, you see a fortune cookie. Let's open these up. I was not expecting a fortune cookie. There's, whoop. Hey, quality. Oh, oh. <laughs> Not bad. Impossible standards just make life difficult. That was what makes you work harder. So, failure is the virtual way to prepare for your great responsibilities. I mean, but sometimes you can only fail once and then it's over. So. That's true. I mean, the Cuban Missile Crisis, if that one Russian guy on the battleship failed, we'd be dead, so. Yeah. And that is why I always say, long live the Soviet Union. Long live the Soviet Union. Matt, you seem, you seem like a guy who'd be, who's willing to share, right? Yes. Okay, so, what is your street address, social security number, and bank details? So, um, next question. My credit is kind of, I'm never going to recover. So, uh, for this segment, uh, I just want you to talk, talk about anything regarding Ringwood. It can be literally anything. Just go on for a bit, talk about some stuff. And while you're doing that, I'm actually going to turn this light on because I forgot to. Uh, it probably doesn't change much. But, yeah, just go off, talk about something. So, and... Ringwood, New Jersey. It's a town in New Jersey with the name of Ringwood. It borders Wanakew and Haskell. And, wait, it does not border Haskell. It borders Wanakew and Oakland and West Milford. The borough of Ringwood can be divided up into five sections. Those five sections can be Skyline, Erskine, Cupsaw, Stonetown, and Upper Ringwood. These five sections are fairly different, to say the least. Three of them have lakes, two of them do not have lakes, and one of them is Upper Ringwood, which we don't really count as a section. The three lakes are Skyline, Cupsaw, and Erskine Lakes, and Erskine Lake is definitely mid, Skyline Lake is also kind of mid, but Cupsaw Lake is actually pretty good. These three lakes each have their own communities, and each community is part of a different lake. So when the so when people come to Ringwood, the first thing you'll see are the trees, especially if you come through Skyline Drive. The reason Ringwood has so many trees is because of something called the Highlands Act. The Highlands Act makes it so that we are not allowed to develop. That makes it so we are kind of trapped in the past, where we can't have develop and get rid of our forests. This is because we live on a reservoir, called the Wanaki Reservoir, named after a town reporter. I think you're holding that the wrong way. I agree. Also, I think I burned my finger because I wasn't moving <laughs> with a blowtorch. Ow! Uh, what is that? Is this a prop cigarette? Yeah, prop. You were expecting me to smell smoke, weren't you? No, I don't know how to smoke these. Well, you see, it's good, it's good to know that we have people who like to talk about things. I'm going to turn this off. How do I... Does that thing actually work? Technology, kids. It's a thing. Moving on. Uh, out of these pizza places, Ringwood, Skyline, Luigi's, Pizza One, Geppetto's, favorite and why? It depends if who's buying. If I'm buying, I'd say Luigi's because the pizza is the best. But if I'm not buying, wait, wait, other way around. If I'm not buying, it's Luigi's. If I am buying, it would probably have to be Skyline or Ringwood. I'm not really sure about the difference. They're about the same. They're two minutes away. It's literally yeah. I, they're I the got same it. pizza place. But same Luigi's place. is the best, but it's the most expensive. Mm -hmm. I, I I respect that. I, I'm a I'm a Luigi's guy, but I think Ringwood and Skyline are nice for your wallet. Yeah. So, moving on. 
Uh, another nice baseline question. If you could commit any felony, which one and why? So, do I get away with it? What, one, give one answer if you get away with it, one if you're not guaranteed to get away with it. If I get away with it, I would say, um, robbery of a large bank, because mm -hmm. then I'd be rich. Mm -hmm. But if I did not get away with it, I'd say um, speeding really fast because the odds of me getting away with it are still pretty high. Mm. Understandable. Honestly, if you can just outspeed the cops. Exactly. That's what I've been saying since day one. Look, every every speed limit sign is like, if you're in a residential area, it's 25 and 150. Because at that point, they're not catching you. Exactly. So, the only thing that might catch you is a children on your windshield. But that's okay because you don't get charged. Doesn't even slow you down. It doesn't slow you down. Act, it's like it's like a. It doesn't even add friction. It's like yeah. a. Uh, the car is designed to hit the child. Okay. It is. The, 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 they do tests on this. The child is designed to go over the car. This minimizes the impact to the car. Exactly. But I mean, Please maximizes the impact on the child. Mm -hmm. Now for the next question, if you had to pick a number of one through ten, which one? You see, that's a very difficult question. Because each number has its own sets of flaws and advantages. Now, you see, some of the higher numbers are more advantageous because, of course, they have more, you know? So if you were going to add or multiply, you'd get more out of it. With the lower numbers, you could 100% verify that the smaller the number, the smaller it is. So, to go back to your original point of the question, I'd have to say that, you know, some numbers are definitely different than other numbers. Yeah, but like, why would it be seven? Because seven? Okay. What's to know? So I'd have to say between one and ten, the one that I would pick is 3.14159265 because that is pi, and pi is a very important number. I'm just saying. You never said integer. He's another solid one. Just keep, why can't they, just keep, let us use the error brick numbers, okay? We need this, just stick to those. That was not the right direction. Uh, so moving on, what's your most hated company? Um, it could be like, game. That's a good question, I would say, Facebook's kind of sketchy. Mm -hmm. I'm not really Meta. sure. Meta. I'm not really sure what Meta's doing, but I don't like it. I don't know that commercial where they had the animatronic like wither away and be stuck in the metaverse. That was pretty awesome. I don't know. It's a little that, sketchy, if you ask me. That did not feel like a Black Mirror episode at all. It's it it felt normal and natural. All commercials are Black Mirror episodes if you look at them hard enough. Yeah. <laughs> the animals commercials with Bella the one in the. Of course. They You've never seen a Black Mirror episode featuring the animals? Not yet. No, not yet. Waiting for the next season. <laughs> Hopefully it'll live up to it. Uh, okay, so... I'm gonna do this one. Okay, can you tell me what song this is? Yeah, that is the song titled Happy Birthday. It is. Okay, good. That, that one Tom Tom video really carried me. Okay. Moving on. Favorite row. Favorite road in Ringwood or in general? Yes. In Ringwood or in general? Yes. So in Ringwood. Sure. Okay. So in Ringwood, I'd have to say um, Skyline Drive is a pretty solid road. You know, it goes up and down. It's pretty solid. But in general, I'd have to say 287, which is the solid highway. You know, mm -hmm. just like loop around. Yeah. So let's let's flip that over. Least favorite road. Least favorite road. I'd have to say. The road around Cupsaw Lake. That road sucks because there's so many cars parked, you know what I'm saying? And you're always going to hit a kid. And when you're going at slow speeds, the car isn't really designed to hit the kid. So the kid just like hits your windshield, you know? Like the last time that I hit a kid, he like went up and he went like over my windshield and it like dented the car, you know? Sure, it doesn't cover that. So no, it doesn't. It's messed up. So, well, well, it does, but like your premiums go up. I can't tell you how much my premiums have gone up because of the kids, you know? We gotta get rid of the kids. I know. So, 
Next question, best lake. Cups off. I'm a cups off person just because the community is better in my opinion. They have more stuff going on. I get that. I get yeah. That. So now, best capital city. Best capital city. I'd have to say, um, Berlin's a pretty cool capital city. It's like, I mean, I went there. It's pretty solid. I don't know, I haven't really been to that many capital cities, but Berlin is a pretty cool one. Yeah. Very thankful that nothing bad's ever happened in that capital city. Never. It's great. Nothing is ever, nothing bad has ever happened in Berlin. It's a fact. Think about it. You can't do one bad thing. So, uh, you know, this has been a pretty laid back interview. Uh, keep saying that. What is it? You know the classic saying, women fear me, fish love me? Of course. Classic saying. So, that's a you know, pretty laid back question. If you could call in a tactical Boeing B-52 Stratosphere airstrike on any sovereign nation, why would it be Norway? So, the reason I would call a tactical strike on Norway is because they are so pretentious. They yeah. think that they're better than everyone else because of their socialism when it's actually their oil. So, they need to get off their high horse and decide to join the rest of us down here in capitalism land, okay? Because they aren't as cool as they think they are. If they didn't have their oil, their capitalism wouldn't, well, their socialism wouldn't work. And that is why I'm telling you, if we bombed Norway, what you have to understand, right, is that if we bombed Norway, the amount of problems it would solve would be incredible. Because every bad thing in the past 20th in the past uh, century has happened while Norway's exist. So if they don't exist anymore, thus the inverse exactly. is And whoever owns Norway is the worst. Because you know who owned Norway in 1936? Hitler. Oh, so if we get rid of them for good, it'll be the end of crime, it'll be the end of poverty, and it'll be the end of mass genocide. Look, Norway's had it too good for too long, and they're just hurting the rest of us. So I think no. we, have to, we have to stand up and declare our rights. Yes. To end Norway. So, second to last question, I feel like I already know the answer, but Ringwood Ave or Skyline Drive? Skyline Drive. Ringwood Ave, you know, you're, you're coming home, right? And you have to decide between Ringwood Ave or Skyline yeah. Drive? You always pick Skyline Drive, because Ringwood Ave, always so crowded. You know what I'm saying? Like... When you hit the pedestrians on Ringwood Ave, you're not going fast enough to do real damage. But on Skyline Drive, the hikers, for one, they deserve it because they're not from around here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And for two, you know, they go right off the windshield, especially if they're kids. Mm -hmm. I can't say this enough. We need to get kids off the road. The kids are getting hit. And you know what? They deserve it. Oh, they do. Look, if they didn't want to get hit, they would have just not been born. That's on that. Exactly. And they need to design cars to have the kids not dent them at low speeds. Because at high speeds, it's fine. It's a small dent, you know? Life goes on. But at low speeds, why is that such a big dent? And why does my insurance carrier care so much? Like, listen, it's a kid. I can hit it, okay? It's fine. Look, all I'm saying is, everyone's worried about getting a scratch on your car. They don't have enough to protect the car from kids. Okay. Everyone knows you're like, oh, we have to protect kids from getting hit. No, we have to protect cars from hitting kids. Because exactly. then the cars get damaged. Exactly. Listen. It turns the middle class. So you know how politicians are always like... Flying, yeah. Yeah, yelling about all these issues. You know, some of them are yelling about like gun control, abortion rights, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. They're not seeing the true issue, which is there's too many kids. Too many kids. You either take the kids and you put them in a little like box, mm -hmm. you know? you deal with them there or you put them on the roads and while they're on the roads they can get hit by cars you get dealt with dealt with exactly mm -hmm. and they need to make it so that there's laws in place to protect those who hit the kids mm -hmm. one last question I'm just gonna go and some inhale ones real quick yo can I hit that I am respected for my work Welcome to the drug episode. There's, Damn, that's good. there's always there's always a beach episode. This is the drug episode. Breaking bad. Uh, 
so for a final question, nice, non-controversial, just simple question, that's religion. Oh my god, oh my god, wait, I'm so sorry, the appears are out of time. Oh, shucks. Uh, oh, I can't believe that was the question we end on. That super non-controversial, non-cancelable question. Uh, well, thank you so much for coming and holding this interview. Please don't say an answer under your breath. Please don't do that. I, I... Okay. And, uh, yeah. Also, uh, the flask, uh, that had Snapple in it, and these are prop cigarettes. Yeah. They smell like strawberries. Really? Yeah. That one's gross. Strawberry, herbs and marshmallow, uh, strawberry leaves, marshmallows, herbs. So kids, remember, why, why vape when you can spend eleven dollars on a pack of Prop cigarettes? Also, look at the water. It's nasty. Uh, so the moral of the lesson again is drugs are bad. Hello Ringwood, I'm Jacob Robert Briggs and I'm doing another interview because I need to pad the runtime. Uh, what is your name? Last time I checked, my name's Hattie, but I am Hattie of um, the Ottoman Empire. Mm. Yeah. I, ma I made it. You made it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I made it. Did you make it? I don't think so. I did it, but you never did not make it the Armenians. Or the Armenians, I don't know they are. I know is they got hair on one so, spot. So, uh... What's the question? <laughs> well, we're going to join the next question. So, you know lie detector tests, how they have like a baseline question, you know, make sure your heart beats so you're not lying. Uh, I'm just going to ask real simple one. Uh, who is your favorite filmmaker in a ring? If you had to describe Ring One in one word, what would it be and why? Ring One. Okay. Are you gonna question the founder of the Ottoman Empire? Yeah. I'm gonna watch Signal from this camp. What's your favorite restaurant, food, place, uh, etc. in Ringwood or the surrounding area?
Uh, I work at home. For the Ottoman name of the mayor of Rainwood. I didn't even know there was a mayor. That is half this town. Um, there's some guy called Sean T. Noonan. Sean I, McGinney? I, I know that guy, but no. Some Noonan. Like, like, Noonan. You know, so, I, I could tell you. Yeah, I, I had to look it up, and it's, look up on Wikipedia, so it could be all wrong. We don't know. Anyways, um, according, to you, according to Wikipedia, you're not alive. You're you're also um, you also work for Microsoft. See that right there is what made me so famous. Right at the lottery. That's that's not the lottery. That's not. They call me the lottery man. So, moving on. How many people would you say live in Ringwood? Is this Ringwood? Oh uh, yeah, just Ringwood. Moving on, next question. Do you technically even live in Ringwood? I don't even know where I am. I was driving the truck. I mean, I was I, I came here on my free will. In a truck. Blindfolded. That's not real. Instead of enforcing like like cool laws, they just give us more guns. Oh, it's a genius! Look, whenever there's a, if you give more guns to the people, that means they can just shoot away the evil. You what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, move on to our uh, next question. This is a pretty laid back thing, you know, having some Shirley Temples. What? Having some Shirley Temples being pretty laid back. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, lay back. Yeah, let me just... What did you throw at me before? Oh, foam hat. Right over there. In the corner. So... So I just need to pay the lay back. Actually... Oh, I thought you made it. 
Remember the time you were talking about the air conditioning okay. mask? Yeah, okay. You know what? Yeah, we'll go over the topic. So, yeah, my idea was, okay, when COVID was first started, okay, when COVID was first started, it was during the summertime. I because it was in the summertime, a, the lot people, it. a lot of people, a lot of people didn't want to wear like, masks because yeah, you get the face off mask sense, and you, get, you, you would you get your not. face no, all hot. Okay, no, so, it, it what I did though. was I got a mask and then when I had, I had this portable fan. Uh, that I connected a, a small straw to. I duct taped a little tunnel so that the air would go directly into the straw we'll and put it right look, under the mask we'll look so that the air would go Detroit into the mask Hooker and air condition it. Wearing that mask. I'm just saying if I was president, I would have stopped COVID. You would have stopped COVID? Well, our president can't even ride a bike. Yeah. Okay. You should, you should propose your idea to him. Mm. He no. will forget about it after like a minute after. Yeah. All presidents. You know what? Politics is weird. But you know what's just not like weird? So, <laughs> so you have know, been paid laid back interview, so I just got a, a quick, easy question for you. Mm. What is your address, social security number, and bank details? Yeah, can I get a, a four piece um, of Burger King? How many murders do you have in your, uh, in your area? Mom? Can I see that one? These are all the gift cards from GameStop, you know. If I ever go back to Lakeland, I'm gonna fucking... They're never gonna see me coming. <laughs> Get oh, break with... through with this one card. I will break all through. All it takes, as long as I have it on my backpack, then the security guard will hook stop me. That's how it works. And if I don't have I'm it on there, they, shoot me. they will shoot me on sight if I don't have a card. Wait, That's officer, how stop! Officer, you can't kill me. I'm, I'm a late student. Of, I was part of the class 2022. Uh, okay. Uh, so now for this next segment, uh, I just want to get a little bit, get a little bit free. So I, I just want you to talk about anything regarding Ringwood. Just whatever you want to talk about, just feel free to talk about it. So yeah, yeah. when I was five, right? Just, just you know, just, just you know, I'm, I'm legit. I'm legit. I agree. Uh, are those like Beats headphones? I agree. That's a valid point. It'd be crazy if he wasn't saying anything and just doing it. Is this how deaf people react to everything? Yeah, he fired. Well, that's awesome. Ah! Thank you so much. Thank you so much for talking. I, I'd like to know that people are passionate about stuff. You know, it's nice to know that people are passionate about stuff and that they just they like to do oh, stuff. No. That's important. But... Oh, Just oh, Dance no. Summer Party from 2003? 2011. Yeah, I mean, and, you know, no, people, people could party in the summer in 2003. Well, they couldn't party in 2001. You... <laughs> that was in the fall. That, that was a really well, good party back then. No, technically that was the summer, right? Wait, what, summer starts in. It's on August or September. I don't know, but, but it was it was a it was a really good house party back then. Wish I was there. I probably. I smoke. I I've, 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 we've there. There's, 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 we've smoked prop cigarettes. We've done inhalants, and yet somehow we talked about that. Flew in the worst thing. Okay. When we went Let's move on there. to the next question. Uh, out of these pizza places, Ringwood, Skyline, Luigi's, Pizza One, Geppetto's, favorite, and why? Burger King. Uh, yeah, Burger King. 
Not, not on the list. Well, I mean, they sell pizza. They don't. No. They, Do they actually sell pizza? I don't know. <laughs> Alexa, does Burger King Where's sell pizza? Sorry, I am not sure, but I found a Burger King that sells pizza. Where's my mom? I was like, I thought it was going to stop. I thought it was going to stop and say, I found a oh, Burger King. Go silent. Hey, Alexa. Where's my mom? Searching for me. She isn't going to find her. Okay, uh, so next question. Alexa, you know, pretty tell me a that. funny joke. Bring, 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 yes, hello. Oh, shit, oh, oh, you, oh, you're getting a call. Let me get that. You know, I'm a businessman, you know, I get calls, uh, call, the phone, phone. Yeah, uh-huh. Where's my mom? Talks about uh, whenever when you meet me very casually. I mean, it, it's ta- it's like an anti-ritual because it starts off in a very same tone to never gonna give you up. We're gonna get copyright strike, aren't we? Yeah. God, yeah, Rick actually kind of goes crazy. Honestly, the Rick actually is essential. Dead. Yeah. This is gonna be a pain in the ass to edit. Uh, Where are you coming home? Okay, let's let's move on to the next milk question. The whole time. He isn't. He isn't gonna stop. Hold on. I I gotta think. I work on my stocks. You know what I mean? I should have nothing. This mom. Oh, there's no one on the line. Oh, pick a card. Why did you do? Pick a card. Pick a card. Okay. Uh. All right. Okay, let's show it to the audience. By the way, okay. Yeah, to me. What do you mean? Is this your card? to be the card that's actually his. Mine's the Yu-Gi-Oh! Blue Eyes White Dragon card. Error card. Rest in peace, creator of Yu-Gi-Oh! Did you know that... Right, by the way. So, uh... Pokemon's I, ass. Yu-Gi-Oh!'s the best. I, I, just need, I just need to bring this up somewhere. Uh, so, okay, so I'm going to Vassar. And you know what the first letter of Vassar is, right? Ass? No, V. So, uh, you know what the currency at Vassar is? At Vassar? Yeah. That's a it's a type of buck. <clears throat> a V book. And, and, and hey, you might be thinking, oh man, that's it's funny. Funny guys, I get hey, it. Hey, that's hey, funny. Hey, hey, you want to know the, you want to know they the keep identification me in this house? Do you want to know the identification me, card at Vassar? Say the stupid hey, things. Addy, Addy, Addy. You want to know what the identification uh, the identification card at Vassar is called? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Okay. <laughs> It's a card that I wish I had a couple of years ago. <laughs> but it's the only time I'm ever going to lose my V card. <laughs> I'm a gamer, so I never lose. Okay, uh, moving on. If you could commit any felony, which one would it be and why? Don't do that. Don't, don't actually do that. Every, is everything here from Bermuda? That, that glass thing from Bermuda, that glass thing, that, that glass, that glass thing, those glass things at the bottom. He's oh got like Iron Man. Okay. Moving on. Okay, yeah, so 
If you can commit any felony, which one and why? If, if I could what? Commit any felony, which one and why? Well, it's not if I could. It's more like which one would I... Because I already... Com yeah, which I already one? did. Tax fraud. I'm, I'm a tax yeah. evasion guy, but I can get behind tax fraud. I can... I... Yeah. Don't... I did... Did you know that Sean is going to be a couple minutes away? Really? Yeah. So, this is what we call the speedrun round. Fuck. He's going to he's gonna definitely walk in here. Uh, but so, let's just, let's get this. So, what you... Uh, okay, if you had to pick number one through ten, which one would you pick and why? I can't even count. Just pick one. One. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I, I can I can find one. What's your most hated company? Could be game or anything. Epic. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I mean, yeah, Fortnite. I mean, <laughs> chug, 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 chug. I'm, I'm, I'm not on my pills, but I am on someone else's. Moving on. on uh, yeah. Favorite road. Favorite road. Mm -hmm. Old Town Road. Least favorite road. Highway from cars. Okay, thank God you didn't say Tiananmen <clears throat> Square, June Fourth, nineteen eighty nine. That's what it was. That is what it was. That's what, that's what the road was in cars. That's life is a highway. No, life is a <laughs> life. <laughs> life. Life is a is a it's civilian. A life is a civilian road that has a tank on it. For <laughs> no reason. There's no reason there's a tank on it. it there's was always perfect. a reason if you have tanks. That's it. What's the best lake? You What's know, the best you, lake? You like water, right? You're, you're a water fan. You're you're, this heavy, you know, you're water. Big, you're a big we're, water. We're gonna have to blur this you're, out, right? Because the branding. I don't give a shit. You're an anti-dehydration guy. That's a callback to the morning show. So, what, what's your favorite lake? You're so bad. My favorite lake? <laughs> the lake. oil lakes in Saudi Arabia. Those are pretty okay. cool. You dip the dip your dip your dip your little toes in. Yeah, and you'll you'll be worth more on black market. That's what okay, I nice. used to do. <laughs> so now, best capital right. city. Capital city. What about lowercase city? We don't count that. Best capital city. Best capital city. Best capital city. I don't know. Uh, Disney the, Boston. The back alley of uh, D Dave and Buster's. Fair. Uh, so now, this is a pretty relaxed question. This has been a really relaxed city. So let's get out of the way. If you could call in a Boeing B-52 Strass Force airstrike on any sovereign nation, why would it be Norway? Norway. More like. Norway. Okay. That is going to go with a different rhyme, and just because it's not Pride Month anymore doesn't mean I can't get canceled. Okay. Yes, we can. <laughs> okay. You know. So, okay. Second to last question. <laughs> Bring would have a Skyline Drive. Well, Skyline is named after an astronaut, I think. Really? No. I think so. Alexa. It's Was Skyline Drive named after an astronaut? Here's something I found on the web. According to Wikipedia.org, named the long one astronaut Lance Brand, it was completed in 1979. Those cameras are probably I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if that makes sense. I wasn't listening. Uh, so, your know, final question. We just want to get a nice, non controversial question. Just want to get your take on it. Best religion. Gay. Uh, uh, oh my god, wait, a few ahead of time. Uh, oh, that guy, shucks. You can't answer gotta, that I question. Gotta, I got a phone call to take care of. Well, it's not even on the line yet. Whatever, finish. We're going to finish this uh, interview. What's your opinion on this drawing of Killer Bean? You know, on a, uh, by the way, on our drive here, I was like, if there's any Killer Bean references, I will burn <laughs> everything. And he's like, no. This wasn't the original question. But then when we got to the house, he's like, mm, maybe there's one. I'm like, oh, okay. I thought he was going to ask a question, but he drew, well, more like traced. Oh, yeah. Hunt the Killer bean forever. And he also kind of got too lazy to color the rest of it. 
He just, he just hates it. He just... More I'm kind of like sorry, I had to do a whole flag. last documentary, mister, okay? I'm... This guy's racist. As you can tell. There was never a Just Dance inside. Maybe he's fucking over. Hello, Ringwood. I'm Jacob Robert Briggs, and I'm doing another interview. Uh, I would think of something clever to say, but I ran out of stuff, so let's begin. What is your name? Sean Mayerhauser. That's a nice name. Can I steal your identity? No, please don't. We'll see. So, moving on, uh, you don't lie detector test, right? Yeah. It's important for, um, it's important for, yeah, I have a baseline question, so people know you aren't lying. So, who's your favorite filmmaker in Ringwood? I have to say, probably Jacob Robert Briggs. Let's go. Fuck. Can't always be lucky. Okay. Um, so look, I'm feeling good. Let's move on. Um, if you had to describe Ringwood in one word, what would it be and why? I would describe Ringwood as spacious. Because everything's so spread out, you know, it takes like 10, 15 minutes just to get to the oh. business, you know what I mean? Like, it took me, like, 13 minutes to get to your house. For mine. That is a lot. That is a lot. You know what I mean? So. A lot of gas. I know. Gas is very expensive. It is, it is very expensive. That's why only rich people drink it. So, moving on, what metaphor, assembly, allegory, etc. would you use to describe Ringwood? Well, Ringwood, it's like the world, you know? It's mostly filled with trees, right? Ringwood is, Ringwood is like the world because everything's all over the place, you know? Like, I live on one side of Ringwood, and my friends live on the other side. Just like if someone were to live on one side of the world, and then another person's living on the other side, you know what I mean? Yeah. Nice. So, let's, well, let's get, let's get things. You've eaten before, right? Yeah. You've had food. Yeah, I've had food today, actually. Really? Yeah. Did you? Restaurant slash food place in Ringwood or the surrounding area. So, Wanakew, Wanakew, anywhere. <laughs> well, I like I like the lunch in, you know, by the CBS. Wow. It's very good. Actually, I just went there today. Actually, really? Not, not. I had I had a uh, corn muffin pancakes, and they give you syrup and butter as well. It's like it's, it's very good. Nice, nice. I did not know that, even though you told me you were going to be there at 11 o'clock. I know. So, okay, so moving on, now we're done with food, so anything can happen now. Mm -hmm. um, so, quick question. Do you know the name of the mayor of Ringwood? No, however... <laughs> however, my... I know what she looks like, and she's... she's I know what she looks like, it's my dad. He likes to watch the, um, the, the meetings I have on TV. And I've seen her multiple times. I'm actually neighbors. One of the people on the mm. well, I, 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 I'm pretty sure the mayor now is a guy. I used to be. He used to be yeah, he used now to be. Now it's a Yeah, it's some Wait, guy recently? called Sean. I, I, I don't know. I think his term ends at the end of this year. Called Sean T. Noonan. I didn't know, I didn't know who that. the heck Noonan was. I, dude, I, it's, it's a great one. Are you actually going to know about politics? It's like, look, as long as there's some guy saying, like, I'm the mayor of Ringwood. That's all. Honestly, I think it's not about politics so much in Ringwood as more of what you want to do for the town. You know what I mean? Like have trees. Yeah. That's a big mayor thing. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna move on to some more. So, how many people would you say live in Ringwood? Well, I actually know the population as of 2012. I think that's when it says, which is around 13,000. Believe it or not, because this place is so fair. I never thought it's also like there's not like businesses. It's about thirteen thousand. Uh, it's a little bit less now. There's so actually less. been a there's been it's been declining over the years. Uh, now I, I used to say before it was twelve thousand uh, six hundred forty eight, but actually in the modern day it's around twelve thousand two hundred twenty eight. Uh, so it's been getting it's been going lower. So hopefully we can get that to zero one. Because God knows this fucking town. May I ask system. why you want it to be to zero? I just fucking... Let's 
people on the roads. Fucking. Yeah, it's like, I, I drive past people and they look like the fucking British with how much they're in my goddamn lane. It's like, stay on your fucking side. How hard is that? It, it's like, I understand if you have to pass a car, but just fucking go. Stay in your lane. I was on Westbrook Road today, right? And there was a, there was a guy in front of me. There was a pickup truck. And when, when they turn on Westbrook Road, they're like, they're always on the other side of the road sometimes. Like, it's not that hard. Come on. Ringwood roads are fucking roads. I know. They, they certainly are roads. They I are mean, seriously. roads. Seriously. Uh, so, moving on. Uh, is it, we have a little geography question. You know you know maps, right? Yeah, I do. Okay, so, which has a greater landmass? Ringwood or the entire island of Bermuda? I know they're very similar. But I think Ringwood. You are correct. Ringwood has a greater landmass, but it has less churches. You know how many churches Bermuda has? Three. More than 110. Nice. I, I, <laughs> I, it, there's so many churches. I, I just had to bring that up because like, uh, whenever I like drive there, we count, instead of like counting like red buggies or whatever, we count churches. I got to like 105. Apparently I'm missing like at most five. So. How many churches are in New York? I believe four, give or take. Depend, depending on where the boundaries of Ringwood are, because I don't know that. Uh, so, moving on. Do you technically even live in Ringwood? Yes. Okay, yes. good. I have a house in Ringwood. Really? Yeah. You know, I live in a house. Mm. Like, just like this one. Just like this. Just like this. One. With, like, with, like, this lamp there and, like, the roof there. Yeah, it's even got, like, rooms. Damn, that's know? crazy. Does it have FNAF in it? No, I can't say that. My house, my house is known for having FNAF. It is a FNAF house. Yeah. So, moving on. Um, this is maybe a chill interview, right? You know, let's, let's, let's just get rid of you. I'm putting on my fishing hat. Sure, do you do know, you know the saying that usually goes with this hat? With the, no. like, with fishing? No. It's, it's classic. It goes, women fear me, fish love me. That's the saying. Everyone always gets it confused. They think it's the opposite, that women, uh, that fish fear me, women love me. That, but that wouldn't make sense because if the fish fool you, then I mean, that is being an asshole. I can catch lots of fish, right? Mm -hmm. But I can't catch lots of women. I can't. So it makes sense because there's too many cops protecting me and <laughs> stopping me from going outside my house. Okay, Jake. Look, Sean. I, Sean, I'm with you. There's no way I can be labeled a worse misogynist. It's a fact. It's a fact. So moving on. Please, lady, you. Uh, It is good. Mm -hmm. it's very good. We don't ask how milk was founded, but anyways, Trump, you remember before when I was asking you about your identity? Mm -hmm. What is your street address, social security number, and bank details? I don't think I will give that up. I don't think I'm gonna tell you that. Sean, the specter of this house requires you to do something. Mm, no, no, it doesn't. Sean, I don't want to have to call him, but he will be kind of pissed if you don't tell me your funny bank details. I can tell you at most my credit card. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. What about the expiration month and year and the wacky numbers on the back? That's a little much. I know. Well, Sean, how else am I supposed to buy V-Bucks in your name? You're not. What? Oh, that's just how that works. Sorry, I had a little, little lost time. So, moving okay. on. Okay, moving on. Um, I can't talk about anything regarding Ringwood, you know? Just... What 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 do you like about Ringwood? Just talk about something, and I'll be and I'm gonna listen, be super passionate about it. Just go off. What I like about Ringwood? Well, I do I do like driving. Mm -hmm. yeah, cars, so I agree. Yeah, you agree. You I agree. agree. You know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do agree, don't you? I bet you do. I bet you agree with everything I'm saying right now. I bet you don't even know what I'm saying. Anyway, Man, that's a wild opinion. That is quite a wild opinion. It'd be crazy if he was just mouthing nothing. I already made this joke, but I'm gonna make it again. I feel like a deaf person at an Eminem concert. Okay, Jay, yeah, you know, it's great. It's great to know that people are passionate. That, that's what I like to hear, you know what? I like to know that people in this town are passionate because it means it's easier to turn their hatred towards other groups. Uh, let's begin. I did these pizza places. 
Ringwood Skyline, Luigi's, Pizza Wind, Geppetto's, favorite, and what? Ringwood Pizza. You're a Ringwood Pizza guy? Yeah. Mainly because, I mean, only because, I haven't had any other places. I mean, not that it could be worse. You could have only had Geppetto's and that could have been your choice. So I, I can respect Ringwood yeah, Skyline. Ringwood, Ringwood Pizza is really cool. I, I, I actually haven't been there. I've been to Skyline, Luigi's, Geppetto's a long time ago. I haven't been to Pizza I, I I've set foot in Pizza One and asked them to record outside the place. So hopefully they never find this video. You know, my parents actually don't allow us to get Luigi's Pizza. Really? Yeah, because you want to know what? You want to know what? This is the story. <laughs> Wait. 17 years ago, right? 17 years Holy ago. Holy shit, they've been holding a grudge. <laughs> they have for 17 years. 17 years ago, they got pizza there, and it was cold, right? It was cold pizza. So my mom complained to the store, I was like, hey, my pizza's cold, what the hell's going on? And they're like, oh no, it's not cold, it's not cold. I was like, yes, it is. I want a refund, it's cold. I was like, no, no, it's not cold. We can, we can, I don't remember what they did, but yeah. My mom didn't like that, and my, my dad was like on my mom's side as well, so. They have not got Luigi's Pizza for 17 years ago. And even though it's, it's under new management since then, but they still refuse to get it. And I, I hear all these stories how Luigi's is so good oh, that I want to try it. You know what? Shut To Luigi's Pizza, please send the Mayor Hauser family a, a free, warm pizza. Let's end this fight. Let's end this travesty, okay? Did somebody say Luigi's Pizza? What the fuck? I reckon my house really needs to fucking watch his way. Yeah, I mean, come on. God. Fucking. I have a green screen. You know what they say about green screens? What is that? I mean, like. I don't, I don't <laughs> they they do! They, they do because you, because you key it out and you can't see. <laughs> Wonderful. So, uh, let's have some more lighthearted questions. If you could commit any felony, which one would it be and why? If I could commit any felony. Any felony. Firearm possession. God bless. We just picture something crazy. What are you looking at me for? What are you coming? What are you doing? What are you gonna beat me with that? Huh? You're me. You guys can have a little exchange here. So you're gonna be taking over. So what do you think about the Ottoman Empire? Ottoman Empire. <coughs> well, well. I talked to um, our buddy um, Joyge. His name is Joyge. Joyge? Joyge. What the fuck? Okay, Joyge. Fuck. Sir, the Ottoman you, Empire, uh, it, was, it was like one of the longest lasting empires in history. You know, like 12 something to the end of World War I. That's kind of crazy, is that? I mean, seriously. So. I want you, I want Sexy, you to know, I, I've three, three, so I brought that the two, Boy Scout camp. One. Yeah. And, and that, Sean. It's quite dirty. That was the same reaction as everyone else. They look, man. They, they didn't. They haven't. They didn't see a female for like three days. They lost it. Speaking of females, you know what kind of card? Oh, oh, wait. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Let's let, let's end the firearm question. Okay. So wait, show me. So wait, what felony would you commit? Firearm position. I get that. You know, I'm a big firearm guy. I am too. I love guns. I mean, what do you really think about it? guns? Are just one of the greatest inventions known to man. Mm -hmm. Like. What do you think about it? The fact is, if I don't like somebody, I could just shoot them in the face and say I'm defending myself from the bullshit. It's incredible. Can I see it for a second? Yeah, sure. Where's this video going, by the way? YouTube. Oh, uh, okay. Public. Alright, maybe, uh, maybe I shouldn't do what I'm just doing. You just shot the ground, there's gonna be a hole at the No, it's okay, I murdered my cameraman off. Did you see me behind times. the green screen? Disguise. You don't know who I am. Who am I? Oh fuck, he has a gun. This is not how Holy fuck, I'm even like looking at a security works. camera. Fucking <laughs> security camera? That definitely is a human being. Like FNAF? Okay, uh, let's get let's get back on track. Don't talk. I'm an M. Bad. So, uh, moving on. I'm worried. My I SD have, cards can't take this room. I have the cane. You fucking need it you know what? soon. What if 
Who the fuck wants the cake? Huh? <laughs> Who wants the fucking cake? Who are you, sir? <laughs> okay, we should continue. I didn't fucking make it go like this. I didn't. I can predict the future. Yeah, just one of the so little things. Okay. I am. I am God. Okay, moving on. Uh, you guys know who Eminem is? Yeah, he's he's a rapper. That's the candy. He's the Eminem rapper. No. <laughs> Sick word <of> Skittles. <laughs> okay, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get to business. <laughs> moving on. Uh, if you had to pick a number one through ten, which number would it be and why? Seven. I get that. I'm a, I respect seven. Seven, seven is a great one. I'm waiting for Six someone to. Six is better. You fucking pick. Right. Oh my you god. Gun, no, no, I should. <laughs> I should. Fuck, he tapped it. So wait. I was waiting for someone to say six. Six. I I can't respect six. That's the only Why number not? I can. It's just so fucking generic and boring. Oh, but I seven, think I think seven. five or one is more generic. I'm I'm okay with one. I think ten is pretty boring. No, ten, ten is just ten as... Is like, ten makes ten. the world go round, because you know with the metric system? Yeah. Ten, six, 100, six is fucking mm. weird. Six, because six takes the place of, like, ten for, like, time and shit. It just... Zero it has just, more lore to it. One through ten. Yeah, because one through ten. Ask Minus one. Fuck you. Moving on. Uh, what's your most hated company? Most hated company? Yeah, it could be any... Disney. I can, I can respect nuts. that. I can respect it, but Jeez. also since I'm going in the film, I have to disagree with you because one day they will rule over every single mm -hmm. goddamn movie theater, um, and I will be forced to follow them. That's right. I, I understand. What are you I'm doing sorry, with that? One. Now, what about like? I missed. Oh. No, it's okay. I missed because I held it oh, sideways. Right, right, that's right. how it works. This is fun. If only, if only this, this is wasn't... fun to point guns and shoot people. Yeah. If, if only this wasn't a uh, a deadly weapon. Moving on, uh, what's your most, what's your favorite road? My favorite road? Hmm. In Ringwood? Anywhere. Yeah. You can go anywhere. Well. Just not, not to, not to Beijing in, uh, in 18, uh, 1989, on June 4th, not there. Not TMS, but, I mean, nothing happened there, so I mean. Yeah, it's a favorite road, just. I think I like Greenwood like Turnpike because that's very twisty and turny. You know, I said before I like driving, mm -hmm. and I like to go. I can go fast there. I'm just gonna watch out for some cops. But, you know. Yeah, I expect the little coin to stop. I would tell you to start it up again, but that'd be way more editing work. So we're just gonna focus on this camera. So wait, wait, wait. what's your least favorite road? Least favorite road? Least favorite road? Gosh, um, hmm. I don't think I have one. Because I, I, you know, I like. I said before, I like driving. I, I like, like roads. Yeah, I, I like roads. I would fuck the pavement. Right? Like that kind of like, level? Like, fuck it, like... Like, fuck it. <laughs> I sacrificed so much for this fish. I've talked about fucking fish. I've talked about... I Oh, wait, also, so... The college I'm going is called Vassar. You know what the first letter of Vassar is? The what? Vassar. Vassar. Yeah, first B. letter. Yeah. So, you know what the currency of Vassar is called? It's a type of buck. The fuck buck? <laughs> no, Sean, the one in Fortnite. <laughs> V-Bucks. Yeah, that's actually what they're called. And Sean, and you might be thinking, oh man, that's funny, but at least that's the only thing, right? Mm -hmm. Sean, you know what the identification card at Vassar is called? Card. V. V-Card. What is a V-Card thing in Fortnite? I don't play, <laughs> what? I don't know, I don't get <laughs> You mentioned V-Bucks before, so... <laughs> you mentioned yeah, V-Bucks yeah, before, so... Yes, like, it is! Know. Oh my <laughs> god, it's Fortnite! It's yes, Fortnite it every is. fucking player has one! <laughs> every yep. fucking player has one, and they can yeah, never get rid of it! And they don't ever destroy it. <laughs> ah moving on! Oh, fuck, those are good. <laughs> moving on, we need the best Lakers. The what? The best Lakers? Best Lakers. Is it the Monsoon Wet Reservoir? You know, it's not really Lake. Lake. I just Lake. Oh, the Skyline Lake? The Skyline Lake? Okay, nice classic. What's the best capital city? In the world? Yeah. There's a lot to choose from. There you go. I mean, you can get rid of the whole Midwest. 
see a fucking answer in the Midwest, I'm gonna be pissed. Two people listen to the uh, Midwest. I don't think I'd, I don't think I'd mention anywhere in the U.S. Probably. Me both. I'm gonna say Tokyo because I don't know what else to say other than okay, other than they're like it's like the one of the most densely populated cities in the world. Yeah, I get that. I, yeah. Tokyo, Tokyo is neat. Well, on, so pretty relaxing to me. You know what? We, we've been pretty relaxed. No violence. No nothing. Um, so quick thing, just a nice common question. If you could call in. Tactical Boeing P-52 Stratosphere Airstrike on any sovereign nation, why would it be Norway? I don't think it'd be Norway. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it. Sean, they had too good for too long. Hey, Finland's even better. Yeah, but I like Finland because they because they had the white death. They had Simo Heha. Like the highest in the human development index. I don't give a shit. I, look, I mean, Norway's pretty up there too. But, yeah, but Norway hasn't look. The reason why everyone thinks Norway is so good is because they haven't lost anything yet. They're not ready to lose. So except, I think except German occupation in World War II. Yeah, but they kind of had that coming. When you, think of, when, you, when you really think about it, you see, Norway should have just allowed the Allies to overtake it. But it was cringe and boring. It was like, no, we, we don't, we don't want to get involved with the war. And then, uh-oh, Nazis controlled it. And th when you think about it, Sean, Whoever controls Norway is basically the g biggest evil in the world. Think about it. Who controlled it in 1940? Well, that guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Austrian with a gravestone in Germany. So, all I'm saying is, for the betterment of the world, you know, we gotta... Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, moving on. Let's say the last question, you know, pretty laid back. Ring would have a skyline drop. Ringwood Ave. Ringwood Ave. Because, like, it, it goes into Wanaku, right? And, like, Wanaku is all the business and stuff, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Capitalism. I do I do love me some consumerism, some money, some abusing of workers. I can get behind that. I respect that. And so, for our final question. You're the ones who are getting behind that. You're the ones who's getting run. I have I'm on the fucking final question. Shut your damn mouth. Okay. Stop. I'm gonna. So for our final question, we have a nice, non-controversial one. Just first one that comes to mind: best religion. Oh my God! Oh my! I'm so sorry. The people are out of time. Oh shit! I'm this will say my answer. No, okay, no, no, yeah, I can't. no, yeah, I can't. no, 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 I heard something, yeah. yeah. I, I, I heard something, like, there's definitely someone buying it. Yeah. I was, I was